Hello! <laughs> Hi everybody! I'm sorry for being late. I'm a little goof for that. How is everybody? How is everyone? Slay Princess Slay! A Taru! <laughs> hi Holson, hi Taggy, hi Super Anime Fox, hi South Brain, hi March Around. Hi, hi Goop Master and Dan. Hello. And Arden, if you're still here, hi and Ama. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing good. Howdy, lady. Oh, true. I'm lady. Hey, you go. Hi. Is it is it Ronin? 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 Hi. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good day. We are gonna play playing uh, Slay the Princess. Oh, last tri stream before trip. Let's go. Princess. True, Ollie. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. <laughs> Hi, Holton. Okay. I am gonna tweet. Let me switch over. You aced your Mandarin test? Let's freaking go. That's awesome. Congrats. That's a big dub right there. Hello. Hello, Olivine CEO. <laughs> It is him, Olivine Theo. Okay, we're gonna be playing Slay the Princess today. I looked it up and apparently the playtime is around three and a half hours about. So we're gonna try to do that today. Um, let me tweet as I should every time. <laughs> okay, let me do a quick tweet tweet. Guys, I'm tired today. <laughs> uh, I was like trying to do my membership badges last night and I'm not an artiste, so I was struggling. I was struggling. Uh, where did my tweet go? Did that tweet? No, I just deleted it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Um... <laughs> I really just do this every time. I mean, I could just set up a tweet before I go live, but you know, I don't do that. So why is Fortnite in this folder? But I just realized that Fortnite is downloaded in such a random folder. What? Why is that there? What are we playing? Oh, sorry, the princess. Okay. Time to keep the princess true. This game has a lot of endings. Oof. Okay. Well, we're gonna try to get through it. Um, and we'll probably like make this. I think it's like decision. It's decision based. So maybe we make a lot of decisions together. Last stream before Kiko plays Animal Crossing for the first time in like two weeks. <laughs> I, okay, I'm determined to make that stream very meaningful. Like, we have been kind of baby Animal Crossing people for like a while now, but I wanna like actually start decorating and stuff as soon as possible. So I wanna be very protective that stream. Like, I'm just gonna be honed in, you know? What? Time to London bin knife dot PNG the princess? Huh? Huh? Slay? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, but I, last night I was trying to work on the membership badges. I was struggling. Uh, they're coming along. It's so funny because like I worked so long on it, but then the badges are so small anyway, so it kind of doesn't matter. Like the things that I was doing for the badges kind of doesn't matter. Um... I can show it to you guys actually. Since it'll be out soon anyways. Um that's an example, like this one. Oh, it's so small. This badge. This was something. This is a badge that Oh look it matches! I can put it on my overlay. <laughs> I can put it right here. 
That's one of the badges that I worked on yesterday. <laughs> it's like someone told you they'd be super, okay, like I know they'll be small, like I know they'd be small, but still, I still worked really long on it for some reason. <laughs> Uh, okay, but anyways, <laughs> we will do, we will start Slay the Princess immediately. Oh, I didn't check the audio though. Ooh, professional streamer. I did not check how the audio would be. Cute go, 10 out of 10. I'm glad it's cute. Alrighty. Oh, and just to remind uh, everyone, please read chat rules. Uh. Today we will keep we will keep chat on topic today or else, and yeah, that's it I guess. <laughs> I want to be very productive. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna read the content warning because there is one, so we're reading it. <laughs> Carvo, what's up, stinkies? Carvo, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a poggers day. All right. On topic chat, go confirm. <laughs> all right, the content warning is this is a horror game. It is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website if you need a full list of content warnings. Oh shit. Uh, Slay the Princess contains flickering images, effects, image effects, as well as a parallax effect that on rare occasions has caused motion sickness. Oh frick. No! What do you mean? Ain't no way this game is gonna give me motion sickness. Huh? If either of these cause health issues for you, you can disable them in the game's preferences. Oh no. Ain't no way this game is gonna make me motion sick. Ain't no way. You gotta be kidding me right now. Kidding me. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. Oh, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story? Wait, this is a love story? <laughs> I forgot about that part. Oh no. <laughs> I'm excited. No! Thank you for saying hi, Lucky Nag. I'm sending you all the positive, positive vibes today, okay? I hope you have a better day to tomorrow, and I, I hope you have wonderful dreams tonight, okay? Thank you for saying hi. I hope you have a better day tomorrow. Or else, or else. Oh, it can be a love story? We can wife up the princess? Huh? Huh? All right. Let's see if we can make... Oh, it's all the highest. Okay, there's voices? See, I don't know, like, if I should make it louder. Riz the princess? Cricket Gamer! Hi! I'm doing good! How are you? We're getting started with Slay the Princess today. Maybe that will be too loud. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll go with this. Kikura is going action. Okay, everyone, take a sip of your water and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna be talking a lot today probably, so I need to hydrate. The music got so like creepy sounding suddenly. You're playing Pal World? You got your pals? Have you like done the like, the butchering of pals? <laughs> I saw my keekster was talking about that yesterday. Get ready for some sick tech. Let's go. Chapter one: The Hero and the Princess. This like background style is really You're cool. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. Wait, I didn't re I didn't realize or I forgot that there's voice acting in this or like narration. No butchering in the base, but I've been hunting. 
Is the sweatshop running right? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Wait, this is awesome. Like, look at how it moves, too. Oh, gosh. Okay, explore. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Oh, true? Oh, I should move myself if the... Hold on. I will move myself so that I don't block the choices. Okay. Alright. Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Oh, there's so many choices! Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world? Oh, that's me. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Monarch, viva la revolution. Silently continue to the cabin or turn around and leave. Big head co in the way. Yeah, I got a fat head. <laughs> this game reminds me of Bad End Theater. I don't know, I'm not familiar. Okay, we'll just start from the top, I guess. Well, actually, I'll go with what I actually think. I'm gonna do this. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's gonna end the world is because she's locked While up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. <laughs> Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Okay. Am I a werewolf? Look at this hand. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. He's crazy if he thinks I know what pragmatic means. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. Done with the monarchy. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Man's just breaking out the words. And yes, of course. You do your job and slay her. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Oh, this is the same. Okay. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Okay. Pragmatic basically means you take the most efficient approach. Oh, okay. I see. But how can a princess locked away in a basement end the Don't world? linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Oh, the explore options do not progress, only gives more info. Ah, well, you know what? Look, we love we're info. We're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very <laughs> important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. So Slay the Princess has the same devs as, oh shoot, what was that game called? They have another visual novel that I'm like pretty familiar with, so it seems like the snarky, they really like like snarky text. Okay. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with of the world I ending? Haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody <laughs> wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists or very, very evil people, but. Surely you're not one of those, right? <laughs> okay, let's ex let's. Oh, look! I'll go to talk. I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her. And if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Okay, we'll do that. Wait, what happens if I turn around and leave? Wait, I'm gonna do that. Now nah, I'll do that later. No, I'll do it now. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave. <laughs> Do you even know where you're going? No. Uh, <laughs> nope. That's what I would say. Ooh. Nope. Oh, I can actually I leave. I suppose you just 
quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Oh my god, voice of the hero reveal. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path huh? also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Oh, he is... Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after He's rigging it. Kiko and Laura would want the world to end. More souls to guide. <laughs> True. Okay, okay. I'm going into the cabin. Sheesh. Turn around again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, <laughs> aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Forever. Okay, I will... Okay, this is a little... Your silence is deafening. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. It's just gonna go back, oh, okay. Would you look at that. You're at the... All right, I get it. There's always a choice. But let me tell you right now that you're making the correct decision for pretty much <laughs> The everything. game was rigged from the start. <laughs> She's slacking on her soul guiding job and making her key crew watch her. Oh, true. We can't just go through with this and listen to him. She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Well, like, if she's, like, malicious, then maybe we slay the princess, okay? Oh, okay, Holson, have a good dinner and good luck with studying tonight. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. There's always a choice. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll take it. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. You know, I think about this a lot, right? If I were to take a blade into a fight with the idea that I want to stab someone with it, it would just go horribly wrong. Because I'm a weak little girly, right? So if I grab a knife and I take it to a fight, there is no way in hell that that person is not gonna just grab that knife from my hand and stab me instead. Like, there's no way I survived that. Okay, Holson, have a good one. Slay the Prince is Great Britain edition. John, John, hi, welcome. John, were you, did you mention that you like Slay the Princess a lot? Was that, was that you, John? Enter the basement. We just got started. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Oh, true. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, shoot. Maybe it was John 1. Oh, no. <laughs> well, welcome, John. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stairs reveal. Sword fighting skills stinky. Yeah. Oh, Taggy, can you sword fight? He's describing Kiko's room. Look at my little dagger now. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh shit, she's like, she's like scary. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty voice. Oh my, same ardent. <laughs> Hi, that's what I would say. Hi! Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Well, I didn't expect her voice to be, like, so sultry. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Okay, I have theories already. Either... 
Don't tell me. Oh, I forgot to say no spoilers today because I don't know everything about this game. I know a little bit, but here's what I'll say. I have theories, all right? Either the princess is okay and the narrator is bad or they're both in cahoots and they're both bad and I have, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Connor, hi. No, we just got started, no worries. Oh, Arden, do you know the whole game already? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Wait, I don't remember if she had voice acting in the demo. Spoilies get punked. <laughs> no way, why would you even think that with a knife in my hand? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No, no, uh, I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, no, uh. Oh, you give it an 8 out of 10. Let's go. Then drop the knife. Damn. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. I don't really, you know... Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Oh, okay. I haven't mentioned this. So, I have not played the demo for this game, but I did watch my favorite youtuber played the demo a long time ago and i barely remember anything honestly i remember a little bit huh i, I mean dropping it let's just drop it the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang thank you maybe now we can just talk now she's sus. Ain't no way you talk to someone like this and you don't think she's sus. Against your better judgment, oh, this is cool. you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. Oh, we're so not going to be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Oh, are we gonna wife you up, bestie? The narrator so hates you. He, he, he's, he's stinky. Hugo has a favorite YouTuber. I have, here, I'll type them out. This is this one. I love her. I love this YouTuber. I love these YouTubers. I love these YouTubers. Am I forgetting someone? No, I think those are like the lineup right there. Yeah, it's a pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're gonna end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? You know why I'm here to kill you? Let's ask for her name first. I think that's like, that's like kind. She hesitates before answering. Eyes though looking like a praying mantis. You can address me as your royal highness. In a way. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. In a way she's saying this to me when she's chained up. You love watching Gav's observation duty? Connor, Connor, Connor. You and I, Connor, we are the same. <laughs> Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Okay. Um, are you coming on to me? No. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's creepy. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. Why is she creepy looking like now? the world, I think. You think? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Is she like a monster or something? She must be a werewolf. She's a werewolf. Confirmed. Oh. 
Let's see, what are you gonna do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. <laughs> do we just do a run where the narrator hates us? Yeah, I really like Gab Connor. She's like my favorite. All right, we're gonna do no. And if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Sooner or later, you'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. <laughs> Hopefully sooner. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. Huh. Ooh, okay. Do we do, like, vanilla, like, slay the princess first? I have a few more questions before I decide what to do. Fine. What do you want to know? She got eye packs the size of Texas, just like me. Oh my god, me right now. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Be Kiko first for sure, then do other endings. Oh, true. Well... We can always put that knife to good use. But then, but then, my question here, right? My question here is, do I want to slay the princess? Or, like, do I trust her? I don't know if I trust her. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't think about how I have to make a lot of saves. Oh, okay. Okay. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. Do you stream the same times every week? I completely missed the last stream because you saved it. Yeah, I do. So I usually stream 3 p.m. PST every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I also release a schedule on Mondays about what I'm going to play. That's the point, Bozo. How are you going to trust her when you just... I mean, like... what? Who's to say the narrator is just, like, gaslighting me into thinking that he's, like good and she's bad you know she isn't suggesting what i think she's suggesting she is i'm sure of it wait she wants me to cut her arm off is that what it is how long have you been down here too long again she offers no specifics no matter how hard you try you'll never get a straight answer out of her well i heard that if you're in a room with no stimulation for like a little bit of time it feels a lot longer so maybe she doesn't even know how long she's been down here are you coming on to me don't jump to any weird <laughs> conclusions we're two people who have met each other by definition we have a relationship damn no relationship oh true the days and the times are different for australia no yeah she could be milip so she could be manipulating me or or the narrator might be. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? No. You know why you're here. So if they said this is a love story... Okay, there's Slay the Princess, which is like TM. I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. I'm gonna keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. She's not gonna like that. Like, I think that this doesn't make anyone happy. This makes the narrator happy and this makes her happy. I'm gonna save. Okay. You're not supposed to just follow either one blindly. You have to make decisions and find out. <laughs> okay, we are going to try to slay the princess, I guess. Nah, is that jumping to jumping the gun? I'm getting you out of here. Oh, you have to be kidding me. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. 
they wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? I'm gonna check upstairs, maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there, and if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free? I'm gonna ask this, and if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? That would be fine. I can lose an arm. Damn. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. The fact that she's so willing to lose her arm is kind of sus. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs <gasps> slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Wait, who the heck just locked the door? Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess and you won't <gasps> leave until the task is done. Wait, the narrator is rigging it again. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess and you won't leave until the task is done. See, like, he's kind of suspicious too. But like she's also you make your sus. way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Being cool with the idea of losing an arm is suspicious. Like I feel like if it were me locked up, I wouldn't want someone to cut my arm off. I'd rather have like let's figure out how to get out of this first. But she jumps to like, oh, let's just cut my arm off then. You know what I mean? Like, maybe she has regenerative powers. <laughs> Easier for whom? She's a werewolf. Easier for everyone. She's a werewolf, confirmed. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Oof. Okay, quick save. Save. All right. Uh, I'm going to save her. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Oh, true. <laughs> the princess reminds you of the song Story of Evil. She does seem a little evil. I'm going to save her. Against Ugh. your better judgment. No. You place the blade against the princess's no! arm. Just above the massive, unyielding chain. Wait, okay. Let's unpack the situation here. Why? 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 Okay, well... <laughs> uh, look at our hands. Don't look at this. Look at our hands. We're, like, not even human. We're, like, a goblin or something. Like, this is not a human hand. Bit late to unpack now. You cut into her flesh. Bruh. Doctor, hi! Also, Mokeko. Hi, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, we're, we're getting into it right now. The blade is sharp. Ew, ew, ew! It. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron. Gauntlet. No, 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 no. She didn't so much as utter a sound. No. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you. Her fierce gaze oh my gosh. in your eye. Look, my blade is like bloody now. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by we it. We are become bird. True, good master. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Oh, she's gonna kill me! She's gonna kill me! Yeah, we look like an eagle or something. We have talent. No. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the <gasps> princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward <gasps> and raises the blade. He's controlling us. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. <gasps> no. Oh, warn her. Oh, shit. Okay, we, we can warn her. Okay, wait, save. Uh, 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 save. Okay. We're gonna warn her. Look at that. There's only one warn her. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Oh, her text is like all red now. 
Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Let's go. Wait, I have to save though if I want to come back. <laughs> I have to save. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. But like, she seems okay now. Resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. Oh, she's like kind of looking slay here. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. She like seems okay. I'll make this quick. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. Well, like saving is just Okay, well, whatever. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. I mean, it doesn't feel like she, like, really wanted to do that, you know? <laughs> this is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. Huh! <gasps> I just die and it goes to chapter two? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And huh? in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this ha already happened? Okay, no. I died, what am I doing here? Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. Proceed to the cabin or turn around and leave. So I'm I'm, I'm sensing that I can't turn around and leave. Awap, hi, Soleil, oh, Taru. I hope you're having a good one, Awap. I'm gonna say I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Okay, queen. Like. <laughs> don't forget what he did to us the last time around. Huh? I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. What? Don't forget what he did to us last time. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here for us and the princess. We just have to keep trying? I'm inclined to agree if he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. Wait, okay, so we're not the hero. There's like random people talking to us right now? Or we're Like, this is someone else. You know I can hear you too. Right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. So we just developed another voice in our head. Oh, we are the hero? Oh gosh. <laughs> and as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. This is more than just deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing really just happened. We could happened. go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all this really did already happen. Why would I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't <laughs> listen to me. The absolute irony. That's one way to put it, I guess. You really don't remember what happened last time, do you? You practically forced the princess to kill yeah, us. Yeah, she did feel forced. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd do, which is honestly all the more reason for you to not buy into whatever self-delusions the three of you are crafting. 
but this is a thought experiment, so I suppose I'll continue to give you the benefit of the doubt. If I did practically force the princess to kill you, it was probably for a good reason. Did you try and free her? Did you say something really mean to me? Did you because say if I really something did what you mean said to I me? Did, you probably deserved it. I'm a professional. I don't like him. I like the princess better. <laughs> Also, hi, Zen Liquid. Didn't take her normie pills. Now she's got voices in her head. I do. <gasps> Canonically English code now. Oh, true. Let me break out my English accent. You think it's like a person we were before is put in the body of a past version of us and their voice is added each time we die. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, like a, like a multi-universe kind of thing. Pudding! You're here to slay the princess! Let's go! How are you doing today, Pudding? Also, Zen Liquid. I don't know if I said this already, but I hope you're having a wonderful day. Also, hi, South Brain! We're here to slay the princess. The princess offed you and you trust her. Okay, but like, when she offed me, it felt like she only did it because she had to. Like, it didn't feel like she wanted to kill me, you know? Sure you are. Anyway. I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions <laughs> last time around didn't have any consequences. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. So like, this is very like breaking my mind, right? So. Sh this is happening again. It seems pretty apparent that the first death happened. So if the first death happened already, and the narrator is saying that the princess is going to end the world, why isn't the world over yet? You know what I mean? Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? That's a good question, I guess. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Oh, he's literally just like answering my my hypotheses. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she did? Rewind powers confirmed. What a conveniently ambiguous group of things for her to ruin. For all we know, the princess left the cabin and never saw another soul. That's true, we don't know. Working, thinking of ways to cool your bedroom. Oh, it gets warm because of the sun. No, put it. Yeah, my room has been really hot too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, she had to so that she could live. The princess didn't escape, you just didn't kill her. Oh, true. Oh, how I wish that were the case. Are we in if the princess weren't a certain inevitable threat to the world, the four of us wouldn't be here. And yet, here we are. You're talking in circles. No, I'm talking in facts. Fox. Let's a talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her, and all she did was slit my throat. How is she supposed to end the world? T, bestie! She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. You haven't given us an ounce of proof. You do know that, right? What proof could you possibly ask for? Literally anything. Fine. Check your pockets. My pockets? You like the skeptic? Oh, you would not have in the living room and not with current roommate? No. Soon. It's rewind time. Pudding, I hope it gets cooler. Put like a... Put like a... Like a... Like a ice in your... Ice pack or something on you. Check your pockets. You put your hands in your pockets and pull out an envelope with the words, the evidence, written across the front. Oh, you have the window tints. Yeah, three more months. Within, you find a note in what is your this? handwriting. It reads, 
The princess will end the world. What is this? This is goofy. Her. This that doesn't prove anything. How do we know you didn't just forge our handwriting? Hey. I wish I could tell you more, but there are some rules I have to follow for all our sakes. Please just trust that these rules are in place for a reason. I'm on your side. Okay, are we going to address the fact that we are definitely not human? You mean you're on our side as long as we do what you tell us to? Exactly. Because you not doing what I tell you to do means you're putting the world at risk. I think we've got everything out of him we're going to get. Who locked her in this basement? What People is that place? locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. If people locked her away, why didn't why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? You're being cagey? Why aren't you telling me? Okay, we'll do this. Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. No, he's you're gassing the only me up now. Person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy. He's that gassing helps. me up now. It's just the way things are. Tempted to buy an inf twin inflatable? Oh, would I like that ideal pudding? Oh, I didn't know we were special. No, don't get gassed up by that. Ain't no way. It reminds you of... Oh, yeah, Stanley Parable kind of feels similar. The narrator seems scared of the princess. So if he got the princess to like us more and she does have the power to end the world, she could stop the narrator. Oh, see, it really is deciding. Like, who is who is the sus guy? Of course you're special. No, see, he's so Why sus. He's so sus. Oh, what? Uh, yes. Right. We. Okay, thank you for being special. skeptical. Thank you, skeptic, for being skeptical. Look, you're annoyed that you're here. I get it. I'm also annoyed that I'm here. But we're all in this together, and we're dealing with a bit of a ticking clock right now, so please <laughs> just get to the cabin. Kiko's a special girl. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. All right, bestie. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. This narrator, I don't know. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Wink. <laughs> do what you're supposed to. Wink. That's what I do. Whenever I wink, I actually just say wink. Have you gotten to play Stanley Parable? Did you just say wink out loud? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I haven't, but I own it. So we could play it soon. No, I didn't. Wink. wink. <laughs> just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Wait, the skeptic is actually me for real, for real. <laughs> The interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat. Oh, it's different! More like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. Oh, interesting that it changed. Hi, Circu! I hope you're having a good one today! Kiko's just so special. Now quick, off that girl British style. British. I'm curious. You're sus of the narrator, but you're not sus of the woman who caught her hand chopped off without batting an eye. I think I'm sus of the both of them, but the narrator just feels more sus to me. Like, there's something about, like, games that make you feel like you can trust someone, but really that's the person you should be trusting the least. But maybe that's, like, too meta of me to think that way. Oh, Stanley Parable would make a good video. Oh, interesting. Okay, we could do that. Oh, I would... I I guess I don't really know what goes on. I guess... No, it would be, I guess. Yeah, we can make a video on Stanley Parable. Wood on outside. Somehow stone dungeon. Yeah, true. They just put the wood on the outside. <laughs> Both of them are trying to get you to trust them, so you shouldn't trust either one based on that logic. Well... Oh, I just got creeped out. I thought I heard something in my room. 
see the thing is right like i think the narrator has given me more reason not to trust her because like it didn't even seem like she was planning to kill me to begin with they hired a new interior decorator <laughs> Like, it didn't even seem like she wanted to kill me, she just had to. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade Oh, but you know what? Edge. Maybe she was okay with me, but she was still gonna end the world. Like, maybe she just needed me for a little longer. But like, are you gonna choose a faceless narrator, or are you gonna choose a pretty princess, you know what I mean? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. <laughs> Both the narrator and the princess are gaslight gatekeep. They really are. They're doing the gaslight gatekeeping and the girl bossing. I want to look in the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's no, a but wall. I want to see myself. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the clear mirror. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago. Oh my god, ago. he yoinked the mirror! And now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. No, okay, see, that's sus, right? Because that means he doesn't want us to look at ourselves. Because we're not human. What if, okay... Here's the tea, right? What if we're the bad guy? Because we're not human. So what if we're bad and they're just gaslighting us into thinking we're a hero, but really they're just trying to keep us in check, you know? Very different. Yes, but why? Did he change it? Or did it the change The sounds are creeping me out. It makes me feel like there's someone Maybe it's a different cabin behind me. Now isn't that a novel thought? Maybe you haven't actually been here before. I hope this <laughs> means you'll finally drop your ridiculous past life nonsense. Okay, you let me have my died, past life in you peace. certainly haven't been killed by the princess. <laughs> That's speciest? Speciest? Well, I mean, like, it. I'm saying this because he doesn't want us to see who we are. So why would he not want us to see that we're not human? You know what I mean? Have you ever played Outer Worlds? I have not. Is it good? Well, no, it's not that. It's not that I'm saying like non-humans are bad. Some like more likely than not in stories, the non-humans are better. But why is it that he doesn't want us to know that we're not human? You're assuming that you're the only non-human. This is fair. There might be more. There could be orcs and stuff out there. So focus up. Don't get distracted by minor details. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good idea. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. Uh, ah, mm, I know I would die if I was armed. <laughs> All right, besties. We're going to see the princess again. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering oh, torches, torches attempt to vaguely time. illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Ah, it looks nice. There's light in here. What if I'm the princess Taggy? I knew it. Game over. We got the lore. <laughs> Subconscious bias against non-humans. Come on, y'all. We know the non-humans are better than the humans. Look at what humans have done. <laughs> oh, the princess could be the only human. But then in that case, aren't they just being kind of shitty towards a human? <laughs> How many endings exactly does this game have? She's locked up because the people are non-human and they locked her up because she's human. Oh, yeah, true. Why doesn't it fill up with smoke? How does that work? Her voice harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Pico and Lore, you aren't human? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Does she remember us? I was once human. I was once a human. But I've died. <laughs> Like he's spitting facts. Don't think humans can have an arm cut off and not even make a sound. Oh, so we're thinking she's not human? You walk <gasps> down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She looks Girl. Up at you, the heavy collar You've around seen her better neck, days, bestie. Loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. So much. Oh, she looks so cute. Out of here. Do you hear yourself right now? Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Yeah, have the you text is the different now. On the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. Oh, kind of tea though. That was there last time too, wasn't it? It was. Oh. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just gonna leave her here. Oh. No, I'm gonna... Uh, I'll sit with her. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. Wait, she looks different. She looks different from last time. Like, the dress is the same, but something about her face looks different. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Yeah, she was wearing a different headpiece, I think. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Ah, uh, sit where you're told to sit. You do as she asks and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Yeah, like, why is there a shackle broken? Was I there before? Come on, like, it could be. Uh, my intentions. I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? What happened after I died last time? That other chain on the wall, who was it for? What would you have me do? I'm just gonna leave you here, actually. <laughs> You're not much of a threat. Bye! <laughs> Let's do the other chain. I don't know, but you could always try it on. Okay, I don't want to try that on. Maybe it'll fit. She looks different. Like, she looks visually different. Like, I know there's, like, art style consistency. No, she looks different. Oh! I don't know if you noticed, but the narrator is RP, received pronunciation English. The hero and skeptic are more Cockney and other London areas, like farming areas. I didn't know. I actually didn't know. <laughs> oh, so they have like slightly different like dialect. Sheriff Pumpkin, hi. I hope you're having a wonderful day. The accents of the hero and skeptic in England are seen as trustworthy. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Oh, but RP is seen as untrustworthy and snobby. Ooh, that's really cool. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in <laughs> chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. Okay, so he's... This is giving me more reason not to trust this guy. Saleh, besties, true, Serku. Inspect the shackle. You are about... I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? Oh. Are we acknowledging that? Yeah, the accent theory I thought is we weren't cool. going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. Wait, what? I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated Wait, she things. just spilled the mother- she, she spilled the beans! It's complicated things. How, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just... good luck. Huh. 
So she got locked up after that first thing happened. Scottish accents are seen as the most trustworthy in all of the UK and Ireland. Let's go. Let's go, Daddy. <laughs> now, hold on. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. I hoped if I pushed back hard enough, I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. See, what I'm curious about is what happened before the game started, you know? And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That's pathetic. <laughs> I never said I wasn't. <gasps> oh, he's like kind of being vulnerable now. The skeptic kind of reminds me of my friend from college. <laughs> I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Oh, so where's... Wait, so... So wait, the narrator doesn't remember the last thing? Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Huh. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. Wow. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. Nari said he is a different version and knows what happened. Huh. I won't. I guess we're a different version as well. Fine, but you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll see, see about, about that. that. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. I don't know who's not who's the sussed one. What if it's like the skeptic? <laughs> you were asking about my intentions earlier. What did you mean by that? Yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, and I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. Okay, but well we can't simply cut your head off, bestie. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? Oh, true. You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason not to trust her. Unless she really could survive. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best nah. interests. Now she's like trying to... She's trying to turn the tides. What happened after I died last time? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. Okay, I kind of believe More you're here. That seems like it actually happened. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark Delulu. than we are. Oh, she also has RP English. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. That's possible. She might not know. Hmm. How am I supposed to cut you out if you didn't notice your head is in a shackle too? No, no. Like I trust you to come any closer with that knife. All you're going to do is hand it to me and watch me work. But she would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting Maybe that. Maybe she's a lockpicker. She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. Wait, I kind of want to see... She's American? Is that well, American? Maybe you should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. Oh, this is possible. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. Maybe she's a lockpicker when she's... There are no... Wait, how do you open these shackles then? What? How do you open these? So, what should we do? I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. Then let me help you. 
I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. I mean, like, if she kills me, then, like, pop off, queen, you know? That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. A oh, true. The pros are that we can't trust him, possibly even more than we can't trust her. And whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. But you can't open shackles? Wait, really? Like, in IRL, you can't open these types of shackles? Posh New York accent. Wait, really? That seems like poor design somehow. Like, poor but good design? Then how do they lock together? See, IRL, you can open them, but they need keys. See, I was familiar with shackles that have keys. Like, it seems like poor design if it doesn't open again. Okay, if I inspect the shackle, I have a feeling that she's gonna just close the shackle around my arm or something. I'm kind of curious what happens if you give her the weapon. Uh, I'm not giving you a weapon. You realize that I have as much reason to distress you as you have to distrust me, right? I'm not giving you a weapon in case you've forgotten you killed me with it last time. That's T. I can cut you out of here. I'm not gonna give you the weapon. Uh, if you want to leave, I'm gonna be the one with the weapon. Deal with it. Cut her out on your own? But that would cut her head off. Okay, I'm gonna say you realize that I have as much reason to distrust you as you have to distrust me, right? I do. So I guess this all comes down to which of us caves first. And it's not going to be me. I'm extremely patient. I bet you are, girly pop. It's probably better if we take action anyway. No use trying to wait her out. That's playing to her strengths. I mean, like... We could be besties, and like you're always shackled, and we're just like talking. I'm not giving you a weapon. In case you've forgotten, you killed me with it last time. But sure, let's talk about what happened. Because what happened is exactly my issue. The last time we met, your body tried to kill me. Yes. If you take a moment to imagine yourself in my position, I think you'll understand why letting you near me with that thing is untenable. Oh, fair. So, be a good bird and hand it over. And if being nice isn't enough motivation, well, I think you're aware that I'm not afraid to resort to violence. I mean, yes, you slit my throat last time. If you come time. near me with that thing, I will strangle you with these chains. Oh. She doesn't beat around the bush, <laughs> does she? Yes, it's almost like she's a fundamentally bad person who wishes to inflict pain on others. Or it's another bluff. No hard feelings, of course. But you should be aware of my position. <sighs> you know, like, how bad is it if a princess gets locked up? Like, where's the king? Where's the prince? Where's the queen? Like, why is it that a princess is getting locked up? The fact that there are no keyholes implies whoever made them didn't ever attend for her to let be let out. You realize she didn't react to you cutting her arm off, so she likely can handle a head being cut off. No, because I can believe that, like, someone has experienced so much pain that they have to cut their arm off. But that doesn't, that doesn't, like, guarantee that she can still function without a head. I trust her. She will strike us. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> I think that trying to cut the chain would be like years. <laughs> like it would take really long. Also, hi, Tony. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, I mean, it's not really just comparing to fairy tales, right? Like if she's a pr princess, then she would have a king, like a dad. But also like maybe she just calls herself a princess. <laughs> Like, you know, I look into the mirror and I'm like, oh my god, hi, pretty princess. You know what I mean? Like, is that what it is? <laughs> hey, how's it going? I read that the married couple who made this game have a pet 
axolotl and ocelot named nubs. I love that. Also, hi, Acer. I'm saving. We'll put it here. Um. I kind of want to see what happens when I give her the knife. So I'm going to give it to her. YOLO. Slide it over. No. Absolutely not. I am not no, letting stop. you hand your only weapon over to the world-ending princess. Until you come up with any other idea, like, say, I don't know, <laughs> doing your job and slaying her, you remain rigidly in place. You tried this last time. Do you want to know how it went for you? Oh, I remember. She killed us, which, by your estimation, ended the world. Right? Oh, Rory tried to take over her body. <laughs> Exactly. If I were you, I wouldn't be too keen on repeating your mistake. Hell, we could even force your hand and do it ourselves. I'm not afraid of dying again. Are you? A little? A little? I think you got your point across. Fine. Oh, he did it! You slide the blade across the floor. She just likes to dress up like that and be called princess? Possibly. What's happening right now? I don't know what's happening, but Slay. We're trying to decide if we should trust the princess or if we should just trust the narrator. But we've died once already, Acer. <laughs> the princess slit our throat. The princess maintains unsettling eye contact as she reaches down to pick it up. Thanks. She pulls <gasps> up her hair, smiling slightly as she raises the blade to her throat. Who doesn't want to be a pretty princess? We're all pretty princesses if we try hard enough. She's just the girl boss. What is she doing? She doesn't say another word as she cuts into her own neck. No. No, that's me. No. Watch an uneasy silence. Her eyes stare forward, unblinking, as she soars through skin, veins, cartilage. At last, she reaches bone, the blade grinding audibly against her vertebra. <laughs> That's it pretty metal. To slice its way through her neck. I'll be damned. She's actually doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Huh. So that's her play. Killing herself? No. She isn't dead yet. Finally, <gasps> her, <laughs> her eye twitches. Oh, this narrative gives me SCB vibes. Oh, true. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment, her twitching eye the only movement in the room, until at last it stops in an unsettling half wink. Her head twists slowly to the side, no. flopping to her shoulder. Yeah, no head. Oh, no head. No head. Open. No head. The remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head. It stretches and tears until finally it falls to the floor, completely free. It bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet. Oh, this game is a lot more gruesome than I thought. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what did we do? Can, can we put it back? Please tell me we can put it back. That's not really how head works. The princess's eyes stare up at you, dead. Congratulations! You saved the world! Are you sure she's not winking at us? Wink! Obviously not. She is thoroughly deceased. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. We should take her with us, don't you think? Take the head with you? What? No. You shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? I can think of lots of reasons. A trophy, proof of our victory. Hell, we could even. Oh my god, it's like the twilight burial. scene. She did save the world, right? She's a witch, me man I. They literally told you it was a horror game. I don't really, I don't associate gore with horror. I guess. You don't need proof. You don't need a trophy, and she doesn't deserve a burial. Just leave. Even after all that, you're still not satisfied, are you? Something is still motivating you to keep things the way you want them. I'm just eager to put this all behind us and give you your reward. Stop reading into things, the danger has passed. You can 
relax. Oh, I don't trust that corpse. It's obviously still alive. She's a master of playing dead for all we know. Oh, Toru, she might be faking it. Assuming she's immortal because if you think about it, they locked her up because she's apparently a super dangerous thing. But if they think that, they must have already tried to kill her. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, right? If for some reason she's still alive, how are we even supposed to kill her? You know what I mean? Oh, they said we were the only ones who were able to offer. That's true, Taggy. Oh, true. So we didn't kill her. She killed herself. I'm just keeping myself sharp. I'm not so eager to put my guard down. I am. I'm on team. Let's put this all behind us. So can we leave already? This hero actually has like no backbone. <laughs> I mean, I'll take her. Let's go, Ugh, bestie. Fine. You pick up the princess's severed head. Its neck stump still ew, oozing ew, bodily ew, fluids. Ew. Then make your way back upstairs to the first floor of the cabin. No, I didn't miss what Taggy said. I understand that I didn't kill her, so she's probably still alive. Did you see that? Oh, she twitched! I could have sworn she She moved. twitched! Okay, you know, okay, let me talk about this for a second, okay? Let me talk about this for a second. Bodies twitch for a while after death. So, like, you know, like, they go through, like, things. The nerves are still, like, nerving, you know? So, like, she might not be alive. She, like, might not be alive. <laughs> Damn, Kiko, that's, wow, great decision. <laughs> Mount it on your fire, please. She didn't. She's dead. He's sus. They're in cahoots, y'all. They're in cahoots. They're in cahoots. Or is he like gaslighting him? Is he like copium right now? But what if she's not? Look at my arm. We're a freaking werewolf or something. Are you listening to yourself? Do I need to explain to you why decapitation is lethal? The door to your bountiful reward is right in front of you. All you have no, to I do No, I think they're both sus. It. I think we're all sus. Everyone's sus. Everyone is sus. Every party. Leave the cabin and claim your reward. I thought your arm looked like a baguette. It kind of does. Yeah, bodies move and twitch after death. We are a werebird. True. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is... Wait, no, that's not right. Well <gasps> played. Ugh! No! Ew! I don't like it! Ugh, that just made me feel so creeped out for a second. Ugh! Ugh! Yeah, coping. He's coping. You can't decapitate a witch? Is that what she is? She must be a witch. This... this is the end of the world, isn't it? I always thought I'd at least have time to explain myself before I had to watch it happen. It's already... I got an achievement that said free the prisoner. <laughs> Over? Is he gone? You can say that she thought ahead. Oh! That's good. I like that. I like that. But we're still here. Maybe it wasn't the end of the world after all. Maybe it was just the end of his. Thanks for carrying me up here. I had to take it on faith that you would know what to do. I'm glad I was right to trust you. So, this is the outside. Maybe it's just my lack of body, but it's colder than I expected. That bun killed it. Wait, okay, so this means this her saying this means that she's never been outside before. Because she's saying that this is this is like it's like it this is like she's this is the first time she's been outside. But you don't get a chance to respond. Something has taken her away, and it's left something in her place. She's gone. But where does she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror up there. Why is it here? Why now? Ooh, we can see ourselves! 
I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator is gone. I think I'm supposed to look in the mirror. There's something dreadful <laughs> about it. I, I don't think you should. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Even the skeptic is fearful. Yeah. Why does she look different than the game cover princess? She she's she's taking different forms, you know. <laughs> All those arms was like a chainsaw man double. I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go looking for her. If there's her. even a her to find anymore. That's T. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. The narrator is, is. gone. Does that mean the world ended? It must have. Do any of us know what the world ending is supposed to look like? <laughs> yeah, she tried a different hair salon. <laughs> Maybe she's a demon? That's possible. Approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. Well, you guys kind of didn't give me another option. The mirror never scared you it's before. It's now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence. As you reach forward, they're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. Why we be looking like that? Why we be looking like a Dark Souls 3 boss? <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. Not Dark Souls 3. Why we be looking like a Bloodborne boss? Why we book be looking like Ludwig? <laughs> you are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin? What cabin? You are half baguette, frig! She used L'Oreal shampoo, L Fuck! <laughs> what in the- what in the goat's name? What is happening over there? You are at the cabin. How do we know this is the cabin? Well, we found her. There Something she is. Something finds me in the long quiet. And brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What in... What? <laughs> okay, what are, are you? The gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Okay, let's not be silly. Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the world? Wait, are we assuming this isn't the princess anymore? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? Oh! Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Yeah, she looked like a goat from far away. <laughs> Ludwig Bloodborne, not Ludwig Buchuba. Did you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Okay, that's possibly true. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Uh, what? I'm getting- I'm like- in an infinite loop of goosebumps right now. Like, I'm just getting infinite goosebumps. Uh, are you what sent me to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. This is giving, like, Persona Blue Room, you know? Like, it's giving, like, it's giving, like, we're trapped in the Blue Room in <laughs> Persona, or is it red? No, it's blue, right? Wait, is it red or blue? <laughs> Persona blue room? Is it red room? Red sounds like... Persona... Four? Room? Red? Blue? Room? The velvet room! Okay, well, it's something in between. <laughs> yeah, the velvet room. That's what it's giving with this music right now. Red Room is a little... <laughs> you think she's kind of cute like this? I mean, the characters the design is simply serving. But yeah, it's giving Velvet Room. Um... 
Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. I mean, she... But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Sometimes. The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives what? to make my own. This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. Huh? Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. Wait, this is interesting. So the prince, okay, let, let me unpack this, right? It's making it sound like the princess it's herself wasn't a threat. The princess was just locked up. The threat was that a witch would find her body and take her body. Is that what it is? Also, like, imagine, right? Uh, new Kiko, new, new Kiko form just dropped and it's this. Can you imagine if my head was cut off? What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Maybe she's an angel. Don't think she's a witch. What if she's an angel? I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Well, can we just bring the science? <laughs> That would be wild. Yeah, like if the princess herself wasn't actually a threat. Let her out of there? Like, I don't know if that makes a difference. What happens now? Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? She's giving Gladys. Glados? Uh, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. I mean, I guess we can say let her out of there, but I just don't think that's gonna do anything. Just a floating head for stream. Wouldn't that be awesome? I'll be like Dusa from Hades. <laughs> it gives off Sukuna Jujutsu Kaisen vibes. The princess is a vessel for something worse. Yeah. Like, like she's just like, I mean, she literally called her a fragile vessel. You know what I mean? And she talks about how the princess was protecting herself. Kiko new form instead of five hands, five eyes, she has five hands. <laughs> okay. Oh, Deuce from Hades is adorable. <laughs> Need a plush. Oh, true. We're just going to ignore your form. My form? <laughs> Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This I like her voice like this. This is not like a this. place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Damn, she's like part of a prophecy. What if the princess is the same as you? She has her own narrator tell her what to do. That's tea. But this this entity that I think is either like an angel or a demon, like Taggy said. She made it, she's saying, like, the, the, this is what was destined for the princess. Has, yeah, like, what's the tea? Why are we, like, not human? I think she's a formless entity, which the princess and princesses are hosts. That is probably tea. Maybe the princess is like a gun, not the one creating the danger, but used dangerously. Yeah. I promise that it doesn't hurt. You promise that it doesn't hurt? Oh, wait, but what Ollie said is, like, making sense because she cut her head off, like, without hesitation. So maybe the narrator, the narrator told her to cut her head off. Yeah, this is one outcome of the princess's life. Kiko Eldritch form would be interesting. We are interesting looking. What happens now? Nothing as we are, but I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget 
If only you believe her to be able Actually, to. this voice is giving baby from sister location, the baby robot animatronic from sister location. <laughs> Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Oh, T, okay. This game is getting like fourth wally, you know? Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. I mean, true. If you don't know life, you don't know that you don't care about death. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Damn, I'm gonna live my whole life without remembering you? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. <gasps> the woman inherits the bodies of the princess? Ain't no way she killed this many princesses. Holy moly. What if this is Kiko's Eldritch form? <laughs> I would advise Kiko to quit cutting the head off. <laughs> True, we have been talking to the narrator. What if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Oh, Kiko like this, but rather than arms, it's all eyes. Oh my god, I steal all your eyeballs. Give me your eyeballs, they're mine. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're gonna do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Ew, no, then you just become that one bleach character. Ollie. Ollie. Have you ever considered where the inspiration for Kiko comes from? <laughs> Have you ever taken a thought? Oh, maybe, maybe it's not too far from home. <laughs> I've been, I've just casually been hyper focusing on this so much that I forgot I could use the chat button. True, go food master. Yeah, too many eyeballs is certainly creepy. She takes our birthdays and our eyeballs. I'll take one only. I'll take one eyeball. You guys can have the other eyeball. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Yes. <laughs> Kiko Lord just dropped. He is not far. Look him up. Look his character up again and come back to me, okay? <laughs> Kiko Bleach fan confirmed. It's one of the first animes I've ever seen. I'm leaving. Look at his powers. Look at his powers and his abilities and come back to me. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Okay, make me forget. <laughs> oh wait, I'm gonna wait. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. I mean, she's probably like the most patient person ever. The Kiko I think reminds me of Horus? Oh, from ancient Egyptian religion. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, she's so cryptic. Oh, she's not a person. Kiko's new model will be like a biblically accurate angel. Actually, biblically accurate angels were a big inspiration as well. It looks like Mahito's domain. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to forget. Wait, forever? Well, that seems a little silly. I'm gonna- I'm gonna forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. What? She has a conscious still? You won't. Oh! Ooh, ooh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Something about that just makes me feel, feel so weird. I got an achievement. Bring the prisoner's head to her. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. I just in got- in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I just got an achievement 
And it says, the real Slay the Princess starts here. You'll know it when you see her. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, it literally just goes back. Okay, I'm just gonna go. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Oh, I'm gonna drink to that. Oh, true. Everyone drink a sip. Yeah, glass shattering in your ears feels weird. Technically, biblically, biblically accurate angels aren't even angels. Oh. Okay, wait, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. Hi, hell. I have to sneeze. Hell, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. If I keep saying it, maybe I won't sneeze. I don't have to sneeze anymore. <laughs> Kiko starting streams like, hello, be not afraid. Hi, hell. How are you doing today? Oh, biblically accurate angels were the lower ranked angels. Bless you. Thank you. I didn't sneeze, but thank you. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. Okay. Proceed to the cabin. She's gonna look different. She's gonna look creepy as hell. She's not gonna have a head. She's gonna have stitches. <gasps> She's gonna have stitches. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture... The take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather Wait, was I not to supposed to take the blade? And save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by okay, an we've unseen seen this light before. her voice carries. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. Hi! Just checking in on you! Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Girl, be for real. Oh, she looks normal! And lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the base. Napped again? <laughs> we love naps. If you hold your tongue to the roof of your mouth when you're about to sneeze, your body will stop you. Oh. Yeah, I wonder what happens if we don't take the blade. Different dialogue? Oh, it's different? She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I don't know what to do here because we met that angel thing. And she seemed nice. So do we help her? I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Oh, the decision to take the blade is a key one? Oh, she's agitated when we take the weapon. Oh, ardent true. What do you mean the angel was I mean, she like seemed okay. I'm gonna drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Oh, I did that last time though. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with Okay, we've heard that. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. A relationship. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try to make different decisions now. Um... Okay, we've talked enough. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? Ah, uh, no. 
Uh... I know what I've been told. Whether or not I believe it is an entirely different matter. So, you're not going to share? How pointless. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But this isn't talking. He has so many choices. Um... Okay, we've talked enough. Oh? Have you decided what to do with yeah, me? Yeah, let's kill you. You know why you're here. Um... Play the princess. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep <gasps> your thrust and deliver a catastrophic Damn, she's kind of girl boss. At least I didn't. It feels like you've been I hit mean. with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Dang, she kind of goes crazy. Holy shit, that hurts. <laughs> Though she's unarmed. The shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Dang, she's kind of going... She's kind of... She's kind of cool. We can still turn this around. Finish the job! Like, full throttle. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Like a fire bone. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? Wait, 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 what did he say? You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure she won't make it out either. Oh, okay. Do you think that this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not right feel now? all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Mutual destruction. They're trading right now. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Y'all, y'all are so down bad. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? Okay, stop being sus. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Yeah, I think we are still a monster. Actually, I didn't look at my hands. We're down bad now. Wait until it gets to chapter two. The real down bad is yet to come. Huh. Chapter two, the adversary. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. If you don't... Um... Uh, I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Game over and stream. <laughs> I get, oh, we're still lizardy. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you. That's fine. Oh, we Doesn't have a stubborn guy now. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. <sighs> Let's just go. A warning. But she will lie. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Stubborn is me on a bad day? Yeah, he looks like he's just... He sounds like he's just ready to fight. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. Voice of the stubborn? That's Kiko? Ain't no way. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. 
We clear? Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. I think we're a werewolf. <laughs> werewolf vibes. Were 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 bird. <laughs> the cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. What? Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black a iron altar <laughs> with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's Bestie, an altar, let's be the real blade here. sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Ooh, let's There's try to look at it now. A mirror. There isn't. Oh, stop bickering and just get on with it. Who even cares if there's a mirror? Upgrade it to marble interior. Yeah, the interior decorator really went all in. I want to see how handsome I am. I care less <laughs> about that and more about whether we're being lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Okay, hear me out. What if he actually can't see the mirror? Like, what if it's like, because we have a connection with that entity that only we can see the mirror? Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall. It's real. Wipe the mirror. You reach forward Man. and rub your hand. It was all right. Now it's gone. So all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fight. Okay, we've seen that part already. So let's, let's. Maybe we don't take the blade. Voice of the jerk. He's gaslighting you? Let's go without the blade. No knife this time. Right then, fisticuffs, fisticuffs it, is. it is. Probably more fair to her anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. Can you imagine I don't take the blade now and she has a knife? <laughs> oh, maybe the mirror is an entity. Oh. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. The door to the basement. Oh, creaks it's like very cave vibes. Revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive. A sulfuric with an odor. almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. He just admitted the mirror was there and is now gone. Wait, really? As long as you can still get the job done, forget the blade is waiting for you. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Hmm. I'm watching her you. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally, it's been ages since I've had a good fight. Ain't no way she's like this now that I don't have a blade. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. True, she didn't need a knife last time. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. Oh no. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your blood. I feel like this is the one head. time I should have brought a knife. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. <laughs> Expecting a Ronda Rousey. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. She's a... A goat? Is she a goat? Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't okay, stick well, for now, either of us. Now she's seeming a little sus. Also, Halston, welcome back. Oh, it's a tiefling. Demoness. But no little Well, like she's a goat, home. right? No. <sighs> I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. Well, like, goats, demons, same thing, right? No, there's no innocent goat out there. That's that's my belief. I 
hope you heard all of that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than last time, but last time definitely happened. You look different. Aside from your empty hands, you look exactly the same. I mean, Slay. All right. Fine. I believe you. What? What you said earlier in the woods, I believe you. You've already met the princess, and the princess has already met you. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. There is an innocent goat. We had a pet goat that was like a dog. Oh, true. Yeah, she wants to fight. She's tow. Yeah, she's big. Uh, are you okay? I didn't know goats had that. I'm just saying that goats are associated with demons. That's a satanic ritual. Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Just because it bothers you, I'm gonna take this even less seriously. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never died. Do you know? See how alive I am right now? Would someone as alive as me have already died? I don't think so. Lie. Don't try to lie to me. <laughs> Just please take this seriously. Agreed. We can't win unless you treat this fight with the gravity it deserves. Um... I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think well, the two of us have a few things to unpack first, like how we're both still alive. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Fair enough. Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, bestie. Um... Don't worry, I'm always up for a good fight. In fact, the only reason I came down here without a weapon is because having a knife felt unfair. You can just say the blade's upstairs, I'll be right back. Don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not fighting a de giant demon lady. Bye! <laughs> then why are you just standing there? Fight me. Fight me! Let's grab the knife so we have a chance. I mean, we have talons, right? <laughs> Release the demon queen. We could release her, but I don't, like she, uh, she wants to fight me. Like she's asking for this. Let's do this, attack her unarmed. I guess we'll have to see how this goes. Your hands empty, you charge the princess. Let's go. Quit the pessimism, will you? Quit the pessimism. Right? It's almost like you don't want us to beat her. No, look, I'm rooting for you. I really am. <laughs> I'm just doing my best to keep my expectations grounded. <laughs> you don't have a weapon. You're supposed to have a weapon. Oh, we're supposed we'll to? We'll be fine. It's written in the just lore? Watch. You attack, fists raised, and the two of you fall into combat. Your clawed fingers tear into See? her flesh, and her fists and elbows return the blows in kind, bruises blossoming in her wake, and blood vessels rupturing in vivid sprays of gore. Princess Clash changed to fight her. <laughs> no questions? Oh, true. I just wanted to fight. Not bad. You're tougher than I thought you'd be. Hear that? She respects us. We can pull this off. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But without that knife, you'll never oh, be oh, enough. Oh. Her knee connects with your sternum with a loud, violent crack. Oh, oh no. The wind leaves your lungs, and as you struggle for breath, you can feel something flooding in to fill the space. No! Hot blood, suffocating you from the inside. You have to want to kill me. Like this. You don't so much as see her movement before she deals the killing blow. Everything goes In the dark. way she... She killed me! <laughs> uh... Are you serious? 
That's it. That's it. Like hell it is. We're not giving up that easy. Now get up. Didn't you hear me? You're dead. There's no getting up from that. Get up! Wait, no, that's not right. You're not dead anymore. Yes. Holy moly, look at this. And you push yourself back to your feet. You're alive. Wait, hold up. Look, we actually are a bird. There's like feathers in the blood. Voice of Subburn is just voice of the violent. Subburn fighting against the narrator. The princess takes a step back and looks down to her pulp covered fists. I could have sworn I killed you. That's your face splattered on the walls and dripping from my hands. Oh, she's scared. Wait, no, my face? You're joking, right? You're exaggerating. I still have my face, right? <laughs> Can I go get my pristine blade now? No, you definitely killed me. I just got better. You're not putting me down that easy. I just got better. Maybe this will be a good fight after all. The two of you clash once more. It's not as one-sided as I feared, but it's still a far cry from what I'd hoped. Her injuries, though numerous, pale in comparison to yours, and the wounds you've inflicted upon her barely seem to have slowed her down. As much as you're trying to ignore it, adrenaline pushing you far past your limits, every movement burns. This is getting boring. Are you even trying to keep up with me? She lands another devastating, no, lethal blow. Everything goes dark. Can we get up again? <laughs> and you die. You know what I'm going to say. Get up. You're not dead. Get up! We're not dead. Come on, get up. If we can just keep going, we're bound to wear her down eventually. Oh, I get it. He's stubborn. Are you sure she can't do what we're doing right now? There's only one way to find Let's out. Let's go. Wait for it. Get up. Once more, <laughs> you push yourself back to your mangled feet. Why is the stubborn hard carrying right now? How, how are you still moving? How are you still doing anything? Bodies aren't supposed to look like that. Oh shit, what do we look like? An uncharacteristic terror. I want to know what we look voice. like. Have we ever seen her afraid? The shonen spirit within her within no, us. We haven't. This is how we win. We can do this forever. I'm going to put you out of your misery. I don't like looking at you like this. You're all twitching and wrong. Wait, I want to know. I'd like to see her try. We're invincible. Her fist flies towards where your face used to be, your twisted body incapable of moving out of the way. And then you see nothing. Everything goes dark and we die. <laughs> yes, something like that. <laughs> well, don't you have something to say? Yeah, I quit. No. Oh, you're supposed to be stubborn. Chapter three. You're on a path in the woods. What the At heck the is happening? Path. All right, change of plans. We're taking the blade this time. What is happening, besties? Now, why would we ever do that? Because she absolutely destroyed us. She sure did. But what a great way to go. Does it matter? We lost. Oh, why so glum rage? Boy, I thought you were brave. I thought you were proud. Wait, we have a contrarian all now. That bravado, just hot air. Look, it was just... The fight was better the first time. And the first time, we had a weapon. Yeah, if we took the blade. Well, this is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been... What is this forest? Yeah, you think? Oh, even the hero is tired what of it. What does here even mean, though? You've told us about the path of the princess and all of that already, but this is a very different path than the last <laughs> one. That's a good point. Everything here is a little off. It's more than a little, but fair enough. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Is the world goopy? Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods, if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. 
scoop like in a description. Voice of Contrarian is just like me so for you real. you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen. I'm to starting me. to trust the narrator more, but you know what? Who knows? That's not really an answer. <sighs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Oh, you've got a big theory? The world is now slop. What's your theory, Taggy? You said yourself that you know more than you're letting on. If you want me to go to the cabin, then you better tell us everything. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You better li all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. If I don't slay her, if I just stay here, do nothing else, and we hit this point of no return, then what happens? No matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at the cabin. We might as well see this through. I'm gonna say this. I can't. Anything I say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you. Oh, you won't stay until the game is done? Okay. BG, I'm going hard. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even said that. I trust that if you've been here before, it means you know how dangerous she is. And that you know I'm not lying to you about Damn, her. am I gonna go to her and she's gonna be goop now? Really? That's it. <laughs> That's all we're getting out of you. If he thinks reality is about to end, how about we just let it happen? Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> I think that would be interesting. Do you actually want to see the end of everything, or do you just not want to fight her? Eh, bit of both. Bit of both. I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. I will tell you one thing, which is that even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. You always have been, and you always will be. Do with that what you will. Um, if I don't slay her, if I just stay here or do anything else and we hit the point of no return, then what happens? Then what happens? Have you even been listening? The <laughs> end is what happens. Yeah, but is there something after the end? How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. If there even is a there. Isn't it your job to know things? Maybe we need a better narrator who can actually answer our questions. It's my job to guide you through your task and to state the facts of what's happening. That hardly requires omniscience. And besides, I'm the best you're going to get, because I'm the only one here who can do my job. All right, let's go to the cabin, y'all. Good, we're all on the Ooh, same. Oh, it's gross. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. Reminds you of Wheatley Portal 2? Oh, I don't know who Wheatley is. I love that there's always an option to dip. I've seen other playthroughs and I don't know why things change every cycle. Also, this is very different. Yeah, what is happening? That's it. No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Yeah, music goes crazy. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all wind up in creative ruts now and then. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could think of something worth telling us. <laughs> and now, hi. Hope you have a wonderful one. Hi. All right, what is it going to be? The interior of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof. I don't... Vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. I don't really like... The, like... Organs that they've added to the place. But that is how it was. <laughs> now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps oh, of living, living meat. meat. Is the princess an information hazard? Like, the more we think of her, the more powerful she gets? Oh, maybe. Oh, only the mirror! True, I didn't even notice. That's horrible. I think it's kind of nice. Makes the room feel alive, doesn't it? The only furniture of note? is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. Wait, okay, what about the mirror? Right. 
Is this like a Dark Souls wall? You just gotta hit it and it goes away? We'll need it if we want to do things right. I say we leave it to rust. Ooh. Let's not make the same mistake twice. We could have won if we had it last time. Take it. Ooh. Yeah, it's all flesh. The room feels alive. It's a mirror again, and this time it's blocking the door. A mirror? There is no mirror. There's the pedestal, the blade sitting on the pedestal, <laughs> and the door to the basement. Yeah, we've done all this already. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I wouldn't know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. Let's not take it. What are you trying to say exactly? All right, guys, do we take the knife? Everyone chime in, all right? Do we take the knife or we don't? do we not take the knife? This is the first time we're seeing this form. Last time it was the second time we saw her. Oh no, wait, this is the third time. Wait, never mind. she might kill us. We might have to take that knife. I think it's best to take the knife. Oh, okay, what do you guys think? What are you trying to say exactly? It means you're hallucinating. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it oh, again. Oh, it's not gonna go away this time. Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. It really is just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Does it matter if it's actually real or not? Talking about it gets under his skin. That's all that matters. We should talk about it even more. Let's just smash it and get it over with. I'm ready <laughs> to We won't be able to see what's in there if we smash it. True. Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting <laughs> dangerous amounts of time. Wipe it clean. You reach forward and drag your hand Dang across it. the door leading to the basement. <laughs> As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. Oh, good night, Holson! Have a good night! Is the narrator another voice in your head? Yeah. You step forward into the darkness. Wait, the I didn't take the plane! The down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed. Wait, and I didn't take the blade! The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. Oh, if we need it, we can grab it later. Oh, true. So you've returned. Do you intend to weakly claw your fingers across my skin? Or have you finally decided to try and kill me properly? Oh, no. She's become a persona boss. No. <laughs> I think you'll find it won't be so simple. I've changed. The way your flesh felt grinding beneath my fist, it woke something in me. That wasn't a fight. It was something worse. I'm something She's worse. She's got funky. Now. Why don't you come down and see what you've made of me? Uh, I, I'm okay. Did you hear that? Well, sounds like we got to her last time. Let's keep pushing, see what else we can make happen. This sounds... something is up. No, we can go home. Like, we can leave. We don't have to go down there. Gosh darn. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. Nah, this kind of goes hard. <laughs> Yeah, I think we need the blade. <laughs> the princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Oh, it's kind of loud. Hold on. Her, 
Her heart is so loud. Okay, girl, you got a loud heart. I don't think that's the case. We don't think she's chill. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do to you? I mean, probably just like rip my flesh into pieces and add add me to the interior design, probably. There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. Her heart is loud because you're in it. Oh my god, stop. Does she have a crush on me? Does she have a crush on me? Stop. You could have just asked me on a date. <laughs> then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. Ooh. It pops to the ground. She pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. Her feet are literally heel shaped. That's why I said she was a goat. Cause she always had hooves. <laughs> oh, like heels? Oh, like she does have heels. She is loose. She only has three toes. She's coming for you. Uh, I'm good. Like, I think it's a little too late for a date. Like, I think, I think, I think it's okay. She wants us to be afraid because she wants us to think she can make us suffer. I'll give her the satisfaction. Okay, bestie, that's a little that's that's copium. That's right. No fear. She's bigger than the last time, but she's pulling herself. Yeah, apart. built in stilettos. She's practically done most of the work for us. We don't I don't think work. we can grab the blade now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I refuse to go out any way that isn't kicking and screaming. What do you do when this person is like towering over you? What happened to you? Wait, we don't have to do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please just listen to me. Does this look like someone that would listen to me? Like, let's just let's just face the facts here. Does she look like she's going to listen? This is kind of like an inscription moment. Like, just don't open the door, you know? He's like, let me talk. And then you just get shot in the head. Like, that's kind of like what this is happening. Might as well ask. What happened to you? Time happened. You happened. But none of that matters. We're together again. She seems happened. reasonable. You denied me. She bounds across the room, her fists ready, her heart. We need to talk with our fists. She'll pe oh, she'll pierce our heart with the stilettos. With a horrifying squelch. You are unwound. Bro. <laughs> What is this? What is this shot? That's our organs, guys. That's our organs. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. We're not dead. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. Ooh, are we connected? Oh, we're a crow. True taggy. There's feathers in here. Yeah, we're not looking so good. <gasps> they couldn't have done that. They couldn't have done that before my organs were ripped apart. <laughs> Corvo reference. Oh, true. Due to her word, you did not die by her hand, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why yeah, now? she felt cold before as well. I don't think the blade could have helped us. True. Those are supposed to be inside us. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. It feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Wait, this voice of the hero, there's this guy on like tiktok and he just reacts to videos that are satisfying and that's what his voice sounds like yeah don't look at it i don't i hope like someone understands thing. what i mean screw the mirror we just need to find the princess uh i'll see you on the other side okay if you say so we'll yeah the head you. princess felt cold so i guess the presence of that entity makes the room cold Maybe there'll be a good fight there. Maybe we'll find her again. 
You're not messing with I us. do not know no. who that is. No! Approach the mirror. This is the most exciting dating sim. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Alright, it's Ludwig Bloodborne. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The bloat you've grown. I've got a you've grown achievement. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. We got squashed. <laughs> yeah, we are something else. The hero voice isn't us. Oh, shoot. You are at the cabin. Um, I don't really want to approach her. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. We are back in the velvet room. <laughs> are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different. Okay. But I am the same. Who is the one talking in circles? Oh, I hate how, like, her skin is rolled up. Ugh. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Marry me! Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature. And there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Uh, you know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm gonna kill you, right? Okay, I don't think it's helpful to be hostile. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. Or why? What do you want me to bring you next time? Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you. Yet it is she who unwound herself. But there is passion and empathy in her misery. She will make for a burning heart. Her skin is folded like a towel. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. I mean, that's good. Um, honestly, we can probably ask all of this. When is this all done? When this is all done, what do you want? What? What? Do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. True. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. I mean, fair enough. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Oh my god, are we like kind of like flirting? <laughs> when I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen. And to perspectives I have already made my own. Oh. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Damn, she liked us. <laughs> you have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. What is this finger thing? Oh, that's her bow. Never mind. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are a weave of emotion at odds with themselves, but they are only perspectives. They are not me. Oh. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I'm wiping her up, right? I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side. For I would not know your absence. She likes me. 
What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. I mean, fair. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective eliminates my shadows and shares You better wipe her up. They did say this is a love story. How to know if an incomprehensible being likes me or is just nice to me? <laughs> you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow. My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow. For I have yet to feel them. You're so do it is They you said that this is a love story at the beginning of the game. Me. I'm not even Delulu. Who else am I gonna wipe up? The narrator? She's just I think we asked her this last time. How many more vessels do I need to bring? It's the Salulu. Ah! Oh no, I cut her off! If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. Okay. The task of finding my vessels is your burden to carry. Eldritch Wipe Creator 2024. <laughs> we can attack her, but that means that we're not going to be able to wipe her up. You're misinterpreting dependent for love? I mean, I'm saying that she... I'm not saying she loves me. I'm saying we might fall in love. <laughs> Wait, so what? Hold on. I'm saving. What happens if I attack her? Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm There's each other as we are now. Destroy my body? You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Okay, well. Uh, load. No. Load. No. Wait, how do I load? Yes. Well. Oh no. This one. No! Huh? Huh? What? Quit. Wait. No. Main menu. Yes. Load game. This one. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm not ready for it every time. I mean, it was it's only happened once, but I'm still not ready. Okay, we're still going full peaceful. I went back to the I went back to the save that we didn't attack her. Oh, we brought the fury to her. You're on a path in the woods. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Con continue. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Why did you load? I felt guilty for trying to attack her. <laughs> A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Okay. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely okay. blade. Is Alright. Since we're at a like a vanilla run right now, I'm not gonna take the blade. We're just gonna go to the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Okay. Her voice soft. Hello? <gasps> Is someone there? Oh my gosh, she's like more vulnerable sounding now. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Oh, now she's like loving. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Oh, look! I'm here to save you, or I'm here to save you, but you're lying. I'm here to save you, bestie. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Wait, she's so much nicer now. 
Oh, we starting over? Yeah, so after we meet like the the like angel lady, it makes us start over to try to get like another sac like another vessel for her. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. I wanted to romance her as her demonic form. <laughs> you walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Yeah, the knife made her confrontational, but also she didn't know that we took knife yet. <laughs> I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Uh, girl, I did not come prepared. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the We end. have to point out also that she doesn't say anything about our appearance when we look like a baguette. I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, she seems nice. Oh, maybe she sees through the mirror? You're making a huge mistake. Alright, Dan, have a good dinner! No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess Why to the wall face? and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? See? <gasps> Pay up! Who said? I... I knew these things needed a freaking key! Pay up! Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Uh, I'm gonna check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there, and if not, maybe I can find something else. But then last time he just closed the door on us. If there isn't a key... Oh no, I'll do this. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. Maybe we're like a crow monster, but also a handsome Hal. True! Hal was kind of serving. Baguette, hungry. <laughs> you attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? I mean, we understand what's happening, right? You I can try to, to look at the door. It's from the outside. <laughs> Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Yeah, so I'm not pointing out, like, I'm not specious. I'm saying that... If she is saying, if she doesn't react to us at all, it either means that she's like sus or that she lives in a. Well, actually, that's kind of weak. Well, I guess she doesn't know what's in the outside world, but I feel like if she. She would have reacted. Because she. Okay. She said earlier that she's never been outside, she's never seen anyone else, but maybe she actually hasn't even seen her. Like, maybe she hasn't even seen herself. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Both are sus, Kiko. <laughs> I think we're sus. She's deaf sus. You don't react normally to anyone when you've been locked up for so long, no matter their appearance. Well, she did. She was like, oh, my savior. Like, I've been waiting for so long. But the thing that's interesting is she doesn't react to how we look. And she does, like, it would make sense if she lived in a society where, like, there's species aside from humans. But she also said she hasn't been out, outside. Yeah, she, she knows when we have a knife as well. That's true, Taggy. Because her dialogue changed the moment that we walked into the door. But she hadn't seen us yet, technically. 
quote unquote hasn't seen us there. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Yeah, that is what's sus. Why do you assume the only person that has entered the building for the first time is and, and literally forever is your savior? Because her behavior changed just from us not touching the knife. If she doesn't think we're weird looking, then the ones who locked her up should look like us too, right? Ooh, that's a, also a possibility. She barely <gasps> hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Okay, girly pop, you could have done that like literally any other time. Why did you decide to do it now? She has something to do with perception. How we perceive her may change her personality. She's like a mimic. Oh, I see, Taggy. I am a little scared. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. No, because... No, because the moment that we walked into the basement, she her tone was already different. Like, she didn't know that we had a knife. And it was before we told her that we were going to save her. She was already different. She rips her flesh from her bone and a sound comes from behind you? It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. What a scrumptious feast. Now she has a chance to get out. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Wait, we only have one option. Wait, there's only one option. <sighs> Fine. Do you wanna do we wanna chill with her still? You a snack, but not like that. <laughs> yeah, she's eating herself. I think next time we should say hi, okay. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole Oh, ordeal. this is worse. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> no, she didn't. Wait, what? Oh, she didn't make a sound. Okay. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Okay, this is all sus, right? Because she could have done this at any time. But maybe she didn't because she didn't know if the door was locked? I don't know. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Bro, she's gonna bite my neck off or something. She's gonna bite us like a baguette? True. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches Oh, so the he's not gonna stare, give us the options your body anymore. steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Yeah, Taggy, that kind of seems like it might be happening. What are you doing? Oh, there is a warn her still. So do we slay the princess or do we warn her? But like we warned her last time, but I don't know if this is a different path. Like it could be different from last time. I'm saving. Warn her? Okay, we'll warn her. Yeah, I did save. Stop that. We're all in on peaceful. Yeah, she was a little Somebody's different. Come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? Yeah, she's more kind this time. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Resist. 
the blade. Move the blade. As your body oh, remains so frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. She's a Dark Souls protagonist. If she was a Dark Souls protagonist, she'd definitely be dying right now. <laughs> she nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? Yeah, she's gonna have a meal now. She's like, ooh, yummy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. She stabbed me! For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm Ain't sorry. no way you say I'm sorry as you stab me like 20 times. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. I'm so sorry. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> That's me and Dark Souls. Narrator confirmed she isn't the world ender, did he? Oh, the two of us have doomed everyone. Oh, she said. Oh. Oh, interesting! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath so you. So that kind of goes you into our... to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. So that might confirm the fact that she's not actually the evil entity? It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich. Oh, she's super from anime. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Oh. Oh, maybe he meant the hero voice in us? Possibly. Everything goes dark. And you die. Alright. <laughs> I died. <laughs> You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that, you're here. All right, we've got a deja vu. Hasn't this already happened? I died. What am I doing here? Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My True. tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. Slay Queen. Ralph, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm probably going to stream for like another hour or something like that. It depends on how long the game is. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did smitten. he? Smitten. If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky Oh, he's about smitten. It. Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Oh. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are oh, we're in, in love. love. And the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. <laughs> Did we ever get an ending? I don't know. What is considered an ending? What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's just go to the tap cabin. Ha! Simp. No ending oh, yet. Boy. Before you go any further. Everyone drink some water. Okay, I'm ready. She will lie. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. 
Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe. Wait, we haven't gotten an ending yet, and you guys are telling me there's a lot of endings for this game? Huh. Huh. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Simp is barreling forward. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Dang, this game is actually really long. Ooh. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. Its stone We've walls seen this. draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prison. Closet sim. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. So do we not take the blade again? Should I approach the mirror again? Walk up to the wall next to- What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. Wipe the mirror. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now okay. it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly swipe Don't take off it, we're locked we in. feather out of place. Okay, we're gonna go without the blade. Pacifist run, true. The door to the basement Ooh, look at open, these candles. an intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight, but it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> a soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I, I can, can hear, hear wedding, wedding bells? bells already. Wait, is this my love route? I wonder how much anime she'll be this time. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over the top form. Yeah, this might be the dating sim. Welcome back, Dan! We're doing like we're we're love. Yes, for everyone. We're in love sake, with her. You're not in love. Yes, we are. <sighs> Just remember. That her charms are all part of the manipulation. Absolutely smitten. You walk down Holy the stairs, moly, and she's anime. The <laughs> There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Is it her her dress? Was it always that frilly? My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Yeah, the dungeon is much nicer now that love is involved. Are we invited to your wedding cove with the princess? Absolutely. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. He reminds me of like the narrator in SpongeBob. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Oh girl, I'm here for you, bestie. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. She got a red carpet rolled out. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Yeah, the voice blah, 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 blah. the voice acting's really good. Call dibs on being flower girl. Yeah, she only has one shackle this time. I think every other time she's had more than one. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. Gusty crab slowly zooms in. <laughs> and you've died before. <laughs> so an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to- Now we're getting married. What the heck? You're gonna be like, you're gonna marry us right we now. damned a whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. 
especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe, but we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Now, hold on, if she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we Ooh, want to Oh, he's thinking logically now. Her? We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let I anyone shan't. convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Um, you killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why'd you do that? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back there? I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to try to rescue her, I think. Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, You'd have to get her out of those chains. True. Good luck with that. Yeah, straight up rescue. Don't you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to yeah, slip just her like out put some butter hands. on the wrists, you know? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Maybe she's like a rule follower. Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. She's our world-ending monstrosity. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow. Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature? Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? I think I'd rather believe in facts. Ooh. Ah, so you're one of those empiricists. One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her body. Wait, is this actually going to work? No. Oh. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll... I would if you had Oh, no! I skipped a line. You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Return. I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain tight... Panic depths. Titanic and if you try depths. anything that might harm our dearest, I will <gasps> end our life without a second thought. Sleazy high! You love the art style? Yeah, the art style's super cool. Betray her, no balls. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? Oh, she's so cute! You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand. Oh my her gosh, her hand can literally slide out. That, that is crazy. Shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Kiko got the key calls. The simp is dangerous. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you didn't have to shed blood, bestie. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Oh, but then but then the thing is going to take her. She's going to start feeling cold, and then we're not going to have our wife anymore. If only you had a weapon. One slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back, and everyone out there would be saved. No, because she's going to get cold. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. <laughs> yeah, her crown is different. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? True. What do we do? Look how cute she is. We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. What do you want to do, bestie? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's That's why I asked. I, before. I knew no one asked you before. That's why I asked. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? She just kind of feels hollow now. Oh, the devs were comic writers before. Oh, that's cool. You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... 
the princess closes her eyes. Oh, she's gonna be like, I wanna kill you. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you wanna do? Get married. <laughs> I want you to tell me what you want. That just goes in a circle. There must be something you want that also goes into a circle. Do you want to end the world? That's kind of not good. I just want to leave. We can figure out it later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. There must be something you want, I guess. I just want to make you happy. Whoa, she became more anime. <laughs> she became... Why did the music get creepy? She can't just want to make us happy. The, the music just got creepy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same thing. What would make you happy? I just want to <gasps> make you happy. Is she broken? What's going on? She's... she's transforming. What's going on is she's lying to you, only she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? She is not but a caricature. Okay, yeah. She, so, like, Taggy might be right, right? Like, she is a manifestation of our own perception of her. So, she becomes cuter. Because she's like wanting to do what we want, but she doesn't actually know what we want. She's not real. She's sus. I want I you have to want something more than just making me happy. But you need your own thing. You just met me. You can't base your entire happiness around me. I want you to make me unhappy. Do you want to end the world? I want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. Yeah, she fits to our perspective, to, to our perception. I'm gonna say I want you to make me unhappy. You wanna leave? <laughs> Taggy wants out. Taggy's like, fuck this. <laughs> no, we're going in. We're going in. I want you to make me unhappy. Oh, let's leave. Oh, true. <laughs> I want her to become weirder. You have to want something. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll find something else to want if that makes you happy. Oh no! Oh no! This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. You don't have to act like it's a big deal. Oh. Oh. You need your own thing. You just met me. You can't base your entire happiness around me. Okay, if that's what makes you happy. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? Oh, I got an achievement. Happily ever after. That's all she wanted. You don't get the chance to ask another question, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. No. She was our perfect match. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? She noticed the hands, by the way. She did notice them. We can wipe hand, lady. Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? I wonder what happens if you leave. I guess I could check. But I, I kind of, I'm just going to roll with it, you know? Okay, I'm just going to approach the mirror. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. The decay, you're withered? That's my achievement. Oh, I'm like goopy. Yeah, she didn't say that she felt cold. You find yourself in the long quiet again. You are at- Ooh, that's like a lot going on. You're at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in 
more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. As a goop master, I can indeed confirm you are goopy. True. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always gets hurt. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? What do you think of this vessel? Okay, let's ask the first question. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitude. This is cool. Like they take the exact version of her that I, I like made her be. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. Well, actually, I guess it had to have been this girl for her to take her. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Okay. Doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Honestly, I don't. If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. No, not really. It all seems so, as, so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no opinion one way or another on the matter. I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me. I'll say not really. That's, I don't really feel like resentment. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. What do you think of this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you. And she'll make for a gentle hey, heart. she actually loved us. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Um. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. How many vessels do you need? Have you figured out what you'll want when we're finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Do I say this first one? I feel like I don't want to kill her. How many more vessels do I need? We will know when we near our destination. So we're not near? We're not near? If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm, even if you attempt to destroy me. Fair enough. I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Alright, I'm ready to go back. <laughs> I will be here. Oh, we need two more? Holy moly. Oh my gosh, I hate it every time. <laughs> Give me a jump scare warning. Bring the deconstructed damsel to her is what I got. You're on a path. You're here. While I appreciate never and cause that it's no unless. Okay, let's just go to the cabin. Yeah, it's been you three hours. The short path to the cabin. You'll and we need two more vessels. A warning. She will. Okay, just proceed into the cabin.
the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air oh, water, is stale and musty, choice. and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. All right, I drink some water. On that table, the blade. Okay, yeah. So what if we kill her this time? We can go full. We can do everything that the narrator wants us to do now. So we'll take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and oh, save the world. We're without. not gonna go against the narrator this time. The door to the basement creaks open, her voice. Who's there? Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Yeah, so there, that first line, she already knows that we have the knife. Continue down the stairs. We're not even going to talk. No talking. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Can you imagine if the story is just that we're like, we've kind of lost our mind and none of this happened? She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yes, ma'am. Steal your nerves and step forward. We don't need, we don't need a talk. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh, no talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I mean, I've done it before. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? Oh, she's gaslighting us. knife is the only weapon you have? You'll have to get close enough to use it. So well, actually, I don't think that's a gaslight, but still. It. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Kill her! Slide the princess! You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Take her! You feel oh, flesh true? easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking. Damn, no hesitation. Oh. <laughs> oh! This is it, isn't it? Yeah! I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. Got him. I have to wonder. Do, do you, you actually, actually believe this was enough, was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. She knows she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. We've done this, haven't it's we? it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. We've killed her similarly to this, but it's a little bit different. But is it over? Really over? I'm not sure, or of course it is, she's dead. I'm not sure, I feel like she has to have some kind of trip up, trick up her sleeve. Of course not, that was too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a Oh, pulse? she's gonna bite. She's gonna bite me. I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. So if he tells us she's dead and we believe him, then he's, she's just dead then. Remove the blade. Oh, that's pretty bad, actually. Check for a pulse. You're right, she's dead. Let's just get out of here. I feel like you're gonna get a voice of like a psychopath or something. Let's just leave, because that's what he's that's what he's telling yes, us to do. Exactly. It's over. With your work done, oh, you make your way I don't back like up this. the stairs, closing the door to the basement. She's gonna come. You. She's gonna come for my ass. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will see. If you were done, roll credits. <laughs> you know what I say about princesses and playing dead? What do we say? But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Leave? You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Oh, it's not saved. Only a world saved from certain doom. Oh, we're so isn't boned. What you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. 
where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago. The only thing in front Ooh, of me now so creepy. is the vast emptiness of some place far Ooh, away. Oh, it'd be really cool if they made a horror movie based on this game. That's gonna that's that would be pretty cool. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Oh, he's being sus. You'll be safe here. What? This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Oh, he's creepy. Oh, okay. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving this the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. That's my reward? This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Maybe this is what the princess experiences? Like the, 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 this? This void? Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days Welcome to perpetual or months, torment. or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Would I be happy in this situation? Would you be happy in this situation? Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Like, maybe if I had a computer... Oh, she said that she tried to leave before? She can't leave fully. Oh. Wait, this is explore. Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. Are we We're really happy. happy. Or is he just telling us that we are? Yeah, she doesn't know the length of time either. Okay, maybe I'm not happy. And I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. Good. Because <laughs> I have an idea to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. Oh, no. The blade. We can use the blade to oh, get Oh, we're going to kill this. ourselves. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. How is her body looking? Like, you can see the passage of time based on how much her body has decayed. So, like, why don't we go look? <laughs> He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Is this really wonderful? Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell. You're right. I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do nothing. At least for a little while longer. Let's do this. How astute. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you. And you shouldn't do it. Can you imagine, instead of her having her own narrator, imagine if the same narrator is talking to her. Oh, In gosh. In a sense, we die. But looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, True. it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing, constantly, forever. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know Using the blade will work. Wait, now he remembers? This is weird. Oh, he does remember, though. Okay, he knows that it works. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. People die when they're killed? Nah, we all get resurrected. I'm gonna get resurrected as, like, a bug. No, I shouldn't put that into the universe. Never mind. You better be right about this. I'd be pretty upset if we die, die. I'm not risking death over your weird hunch. Anything to get out of this hell? You're right, I didn't like that idea. I'm gonna do this. If we die, die, you can yell at me all you want. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. I mean, you could have at least given me a PC that has like inscription downloaded on it. Like we could have had a little bit more than this, bestie. Fine, whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as oh, the Oh, a lot of time has passed. A shit ton of time has passed. 
You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Oh my gosh. The end. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Rattle me bones. Chapter two, the specter. I want to be resurrected as a you're pelican. A path, they seem to got it all figured out. And at the end of that path, you're here. To Oh, you bastard. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. But I killed myself. What am I doing here? Okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. Oh, you want to be a grizzly bear? If he doesn't remember what happened, then that's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. He's cold? Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Okay, let's proceed. A warning. The health inspector? Before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. She won't be a problem. Proceed. The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It's giving haunted. It's giving the conjuring. It's giving like... Time to do an exorcism in this house. What do you view your vi viewers as? Oh, you guys are my key crew. You guys do my work for me while I play games. <laughs> you guys, you guys are responsible for guiding spirits. I just play video games, you know? <laughs> I'm the worst boss ever. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Maybe she's like still dead. Can you imagine? Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed like her she's not even going to be down there. Oh, I thought we were jelly beans. You guys, you guys are jelly beans. You guys are also jelly beans. <laughs> you know what I mean, jelly bean? You guys are jelly beans. What flavor? Pick your flavor. Oh, that's so cute. You guys can like pick your own jelly bean flavor. I mean, do we have to approach the mirror every time? I'm just gonna take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay. Oh, let's just enter. Who cares? Oh, the mirror actually disappeared there. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust. And you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Oh my god. Your jelly bean flavor? Purple is grape. Ooh, vomit flavor. Are we like eyes floating around you? I've always thought of you guys as like little skelly guys, maybe. Or jelly beans. Jelly beans work too. <laughs> I would be buttered popcorn flavor. Oh, this is a long time coming, but that's my favorite. That's my favorite flavor is buttered popcorn. <laughs> buttered popcorn jelly beans. The room below is silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. Skelly ghosts. Skelly goes with pirate hats on. <gasps> She's actually dead. The form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Holy moly, she's still dead. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance <gasps> no. to finish your thought, the nah. top of her head appears nah. from underneath the floor. Take it back. Take that back right now. Buttered popcorn, you can have that flavor. Yeah, it's an actual, it's a real flavor. Two deep set oh, no. eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? Yeah, I'd like to know too. G -g 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 Ghost. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, How wow. Absolutely terrifying. 
What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh yeah, we guide her to the afterlife now. Let's go, bestie. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last Hear me out, out, you guys. Guys, we're gonna guide her soul. Acer and Taggy will like roll the boat, you know? We're in there, we're taking her. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders pow, 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 and down pow. your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. I'm no Charon. <laughs> so she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. But she's already dead. Slay the princess. Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. How are you gonna kill a ghost? It's like you're slashing at air. Yeah. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike from, no. all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Hmm. Hmm. Still think the demon form is the cutest? I personally like deranged anime form. It's pretty good. I'm evil, Ko, but we're dedicating to the craft. You're adorable when you're confused. Oh, thank you. I'm but always confused. So you could touch me. Oh, she's scary. <laughs> Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? I mean, we kind of have no choice. If I knew I'd have to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. Of course I attacked you. You're supposed to end the world. That's why I killed you last time too. You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? What do you want from me? Okay, team, I'm out of ideals. Thoughts? That's me all the time. Slay the princess. Harder. Fine, if I can't hurt you, then there really isn't anything for me to do here. I guess I'll get going. <laughs> I'll do this one. You don't look dead, killer. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm. Play harder. Still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead either. How are you feeling me? How come I can't touch you? She's like a cat. Still have the choice to dip. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up oh, right back here. Oh, okay. Lore drop. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone. Where here. is home? But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, you Oh, she's me. creepy. I was like, oh, she's nice. No, she's not. She's creepy. I think the first demon one was good. Destroy the lich... 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 Phallic... Words. <laughs> Yeah, she's trapped without us. Oh, can she possess us? Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? Oh, okay. She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you I mean, can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed we're to like, escape this We're place. like writing the next and Conjuring movie. In, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it now isn't that an interesting thought Ooh. we could finally bring her face to face with him i wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so so bad oh i kind of like the cold voice you won't like how things play out if you go down this path what if i say no this would be temporary right you'll leave once we're out of the cabin that's not true if I let you win, do I still get to be in control? Before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. Sounds great. The answer's no. Return. I need to think on this. Let's save.
Interesting. What what would returning do? Take your time. I know it's a lot to think about, but I'm very good at waiting. See, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you about in the woods. This already happened. We killed her. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Do you know why you came back? Stop playing the victim. I'm sorry I killed you last time. I should have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be hard to do it again. Is there any way I can make up to you? If I knew it, I'd wind up having to talk to you again, I wouldn't have killed you. After I killed you, this, this cabin, I want to say it teleported. It wasn't the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning anything and I had to kill myself. Oh, okay, well, that one is actually pretty good. You poor thing. That, that must have been so frightening for you. She's too cute. She probably, she couldn't possibly be dangerous. I agree with cold, it sounds funny. We can fix her. You know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally sympathizing with us. This whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? She doesn't mean it. <laughs> it serves you right. <laughs> I was pretty scared too, when you stood there not saying a word with a knife clenched in your fist. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. This is true. It sounds like you got exactly what you were owed. Oh, okay, bestie. The more dangerous, the cuter. Um, there's so many options. If you can go through walls, can't you just leave on your own? I wish that's how it worked, but this place won't let me go. Oh, okay. Do you know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. Fair enough. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. Not the big obvious one that you put there. Oh. There's something older and deeper. Wood on the skeletal face, I'm folks. I'm reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. See, this is exactly what I was trying to tell you. This happened. We killed her. Yes, obviously things are strange right now. I think it's safe to say that you've seen something. Something you shouldn't have seen. Whatever worlds you've hopped between, whatever versions of me you've met, none of that matters now. There's no changing what's already happened, but you have a job to finish. Deranged ladies, am I right? Really get the adrenaline pumping. Flight response kicking in, you know? Finish. <laughs> we already did what you told us, and now she's a ghost. You haven't tried slaying her yet this time, though. How are we going to slay you? her? And then what? And then you'll have saved the world. How are we gonna slave her? I think he's asking slave about her? what happens slave her. after we save the world. If that's even still an option. What do you mean, after? You already know what we mean, don't you? So why don't you go ahead and tell us? Are you going to try and lock us away? Flirt or flirt respond. Again? Because I didn't much care for that. Why is her hair so pretty if death does that to you? I may have tried to do it sooner. No! Her hair is very beautiful, though. I'm not going to lock you anywhere. What an interesting choice of emphasis. Isn't there like an X thing for like One Piece? <laughs> I'm sorry I killed you last time. Shouldn't have done that. Too little, too late. Huh. You, can, you still can still make things right. Yeah, the flowing locks is nice. She's not in a position to bargain with us. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. We don't have to do anything, but maybe we should. We did kill her. Wouldn't it be the moral thing to help her now that we have another chance? When a hero slays a monster, does he apologize to it? Did someone say One Piece? Yeah, but One Piece also has like an X thing, right? The X on her chest must mean that she's Monkey D. Luffy. No. <laughs> So don't try to make things right. She was going to end the world. You didn't do anything wrong. Aside from, apparently, killing yourself. And that doesn't have much to do with her. Okay. Um. 
Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick, sick fantasy? Because I already did that and it wouldn't be hard to do again. I'm gonna say that. Are we putting this to a vote? Because personally, I'd prefer if we didn't <laughs> die again. The, the main character has one? Oh. If that's what it comes down to, that's what it comes down to. But I don't see the point of offing ourselves just yet. Oh, it's a One Piece spoiler? Oh, hmm. shoot. Wait, never me. mind. But killing yourself wouldn't help either of us. I don't think I'm ever gonna watch One Piece, but. No spoilers for maybe someone else that will. <laughs> it would seem that everyone here is in agreement except for you. I shouldn't have to tell you that you shouldn't kill yourself. So please, try to keep your suicidal tendencies in check. Okay, so are we going to let her possess? I just, I just want to go home. Okay, well, let's let her possess us. Okay, team. Let the princess pos- I'll save. I'll save. I'll save. Kiko will save. Um, I'm gonna let her possess me. Yeah, like, let's just... Let's just, uh, do that. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. Thanks for the body, killer. You're welcome. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> Bestie, did you have an alternative? See you soon. Oh, she's creepy. Oh, it's creepy. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a duel? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing I thought she more wants to get out, though. Agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor. And but how is she going to get out? Get up. You've still got a job to do. Oh, true, bestie. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Oh, she can hear him now! So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor? Are they also supposed to be you? Huh? Hey! I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Yeah, go on. Finish the thought. What are you? I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. True. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. Damn, cold kind of speaking facts. Do you have to deal with this annoying bickering all the time? Yes. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. Oh, have a good day at work, Connor. Thank you for being here. I'm clearly the same thing you are. Hopefully, they'll all go away once we leave this place. I don't know how you can tolerate all of this noise. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More or important. important. Wait, One Piece is getting remade? That's crazy. So you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a Ooh, memory than she's a person. saying some heavy hitting things. That's rude. <laughs> You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I'm setting the stage. Wait, what did she say? Oh. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-around foolish decision. Oh, shut up. Stop trying to manipulate everyone. Oh my god, true. I oh, don't, actually. It doesn't really matter. Because you won't be around to do this for much longer. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just, whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. 
Slay the princess? We can kill ourselves right now? I can't think straight. There's too much noise. Then don't think. Just move. One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Wow, everyone doesn't like the narrator. I guess we'll just have to see what happens when we leave. But if I'm stuck in here, I'll be making some renovations. It's too crowded. <laughs> I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna leave the basement. I'm curious. <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you <laughs> leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? Possibly. It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is... Oh, also true. Of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Ooh. Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. Oh, this is the front door. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. It's because he can't stop me. Why do you think he sent you here? I hate to admit it, but she's not wrong. <laughs> it's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And whine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that nah, happen. Nah, that's just full scent. Trudge forward. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. Finally. Finally. Oh, it's gonna be a black void. It is. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no <laughs> use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Oh, that's what the shattering sound is? It's our mind shattering into pieces. Oh, open the door. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it. And then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. Oh, no! So you did slay him after all. <laughs> he had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. The narrator always gets the last laugh, the last laugh, doesn't he? The fragments begin voices that are all one emotion. Ooh. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, uh, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? All right, let's see if I'm stuck with you forever. <laughs> oh, there she is! You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up to you. Guess I'm not. That's well it ends well, right? You lived up to your end of the bargain, so I'll live up to mine. Thanks. Wait, is she gonna get yoinked now? Don't mention it. I think this is where I'm meant to be. Oh, she's yoinked. Oh, she's yoinked. Well, we created a vessel. You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Gone. Where does is that up? Um, we're just gonna get to the mirror, you know. Look at our crusty self. You approach the mirror. There we are. Oh, we're less goopy this time. You're unraveled. We're not goopy. 
Another job done guiding? Oh, true. We're doing our job, guys. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Maybe the narrator is just a shard of us from another iteration that's slowly growing more powerful. True. True. We're skelly. Crusty like a stale baguette. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I'm curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. Do you think about that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Okay, girl, we're getting like a weird lesson right now. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream for Aww, a life it's she could sad. never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. Honestly, she was one of the nice ones. I think our affection is based on what we do because this times we were skelly. True. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. Isti, hi! I hope you're having a wonderful day. You came at an interesting time. We have our little hands lady here, right here. What do you- do you know what's gonna happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. Fair enough. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty. Existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Clearly I have. Oh, you're about to meet, read some manhwas. Let's go. What are you reading? She was cool when she found out how noisy the hero's head actually was. I guess she realized that the narrator was actually the bad guy. He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does. And when I find him, you and I are going to have finally going to have answers. He does. And when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does. But you're going to keep that to yourself. Oh. I'm going to say I'm going to keep it to myself. It's nice to be with someone whose thoughts I can never know is mine. How many more vessels? One. Oh, there Every we go. You bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Tower of God, Windbreaker, Teenage Mercenary, and Lucasm all got new chapters. Let's go. I I like the K-pop group that did the, the song for Tower of God. <laughs> That's awesome. She's definitely now, is she? Yeah, we're, we're gonna get wifed up today. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just gonna stay here. Now let's do this. These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you Divine choose Divine Riz. the thread is fully drawn. All right, let's just go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Oh, guys, we're close to the to close to the wrap up. I will be here waiting for you. Get ready for our consciousness to break, guys. I'm ready this time. Ha, <laughs> I was ready for that one finally. Everything goes dark and you die. All right, we brought the specter to her, an evanescent vessel. You're on the path. You're all right, we will slightly silently continue. Mind break code. You make your way up a warrant. She will. What other option do we have? The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. 
the air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Yeah, we looping the only nasty. furniture of note is a pl blade. Is Wait, so do I take the blade or do I not? Because I tried... Wasn't there a choice to slay the princess when she was possessing you? That's true. But I feel like it won't change the outcome. Unless it would just take us to a new chapter. Leave the blade and then say hi. Oh. Okay. I think we do leave the blade because we've taken the blade twice. Oh, we could lie about saving her. Oh, true. We can lie. The door to the basement, her voice softly. Hello? Please don't lie. I'm here to save you. Be deceitful and scummy. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. All right, let's get Come it. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. I'm your killer. I'm a killer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. Be an awful human. I mean, you know, we got to get ourselves out of this, you know? She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I mean, beauty is, I is not... I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot... Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Take it till you make it. Oh, true. We're not even human. <laughs> you were lying when you said you were here to rescue her. But regardless of your intentions, breaking be her like out of Skyrim, those chains would be crimes. a big mistake. Don't even try it. Uh, let's talk a bit first, I guess. Okay. What's your name? I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you've locked down here for a reason. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? Oh, that's true. I was sent here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I'm gonna keep you locked away. I'm sorry I can't trust you. This doesn't add up and it isn't worth the risk oh go back upstairs to retrieve the blade without saying another word i can't believe they keep been keeping you down like this oh yeah what's she eating i'm gonna ask her name though oh she pauses carefully formulating her words before she responds you can address me as your royal highness or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. If she's a demon, right? There's like this idea that you you gain power over a demon if you know their name. So maybe that's why she doesn't want to tell me her name? Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? Princess princess. So is princess your name? Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. Or is it the fact that she's not real so she doesn't have a name? I'm sorry, I've been down here so long I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Yeah, what's your name, okay, bestie? that's weird. We can't call her real name because she's a VTuber, obviously. She oh, true. She to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. We could do that. Yeah, we haven't perceived her with a name, and so she doesn't have one. Or she doesn't know one. I'm gonna start thinking her name's Taggy. <laughs> then Taggy will be the pretty princess. Uh... Um, what do we do? Okay, wait, there was another question. What have you been eating? I don't see what that has to do with anything. You would be dead if you're not eating. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but... What? I agree with the princess. 
that's hardly relevant. Oh, let's talk a bit before. Okay. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? Yeah, she has to eat. She has to eat, right? I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. What's the reason? I don't actually know what that reason Girl. is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation. The narrator is in cahoots. Right? Yeah, what is that about? You have all the explanation you need. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? The princess hesitates before responding. Why is she hesitating so much? She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. Are you looking for the truth or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. Oh. It's not like you'd believe me. No, I, I'll take it. Okay, do we take the knife now? I was sent here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. But I don't think you're actually dangerous. I wanted to see you for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. I'm starting to think it's true. There's something about you that doesn't feel right. Bam. Would everything feel right about you if you were locked away in a hole by yourself for as long as you can remember? I mean, fair enough. Just how long has she been down here? So, did they tell you why I'm supposed to be so dangerous? I've seen some things. I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret. No, which is why I don't think you're actually dangerous. I'm gonna say I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world if that's what you're getting at. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That's true. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. Do we say anything about destroying the world? I think we did. Uh... I think I said something about it. Didn't someone just say every playthrough has a different outcome? So what if our ending changes based on what pieces of her we collect? I'm, I'm sure. I think it's probably like if there's a lot of endings, it might be like the order that you get them or like the amount of dialogue you've seen. Oh, you want to help her. Also, no, I don't think we're going to do a poll because I haven't even watched Has Been Hotel, so I can't even chime in on a poll like that. Try to be reasonable with her, then get her like a real backstabber. Do we kill her? She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. Taggy wants to save her. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. My heart breaks, Ko. It'd be cool to be a good person. Now I sound like the narrator. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? It's not you, bestie. It's the person who has latched on to you. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here. And it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person and a subjugating monarch, no less. Okay, here's some food for thought, right? We did exactly what the narrator wanted, and the reward was kind of poopy. So, like, maybe we side with her because the narrator kind of sus. Like, he's already full-on showed us that he's sus. Yeah, who locked her here? 
I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and just kept you company? Maybe then everyone could be happy. Now let's do that. That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Fair enough. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. Yeah, the narrator trapped us with the same fate as her. Oh my gosh, is that like Dark Souls? We have to keep the flame? Like, what is this? <laughs> so, I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. Oh, she started to get creepy. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. When you try to please everybody, you please nobody. That's facts, March. March around, that is facts. You're gonna leave betraying her as an option. <sighs> I'm curious what happens if you go to retrieve the blade. You guys, how is it that my two mods are on the total opposite ends? No. Uh, lock her in the basement. <laughs> the only solution is to lock her in the basement. Oh, let's do that, actually. I know you think this is some kind of fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. Yeah, I know, but I kind of just want to see what happens. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just Sorry, stay I wanted to see what watch. happens if we lock no her in here. No one has to die. The duality of man. Where are you going? You can't just oh. leave me oh, here. No. You We're turn oh, your yeah. back to the princess and make your way back to the stairs. Acer and Taggy are the voices in my head. Voice of Taggy, voice of Acer. <laughs> Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Oh, true, bestie. She's gonna eat your booty. Slip these chains. She can't, right? Well, she's done she it. She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped the mask, didn't she? You can still grab the blade and get back down here. We're sticking to the plan. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. Ooh, what do we do here? Now nah, we're sticking It'll to the plan. The death of all of us, but fine. We'll do it your. My curiosity is killing the cat. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, I don't know if that table's gonna do okay. much. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. The cat was Schrodinger, no! I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of the I knew it! Kill her! As she violently rattles the door, you do your best I'm gonna to need a bigger table. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece. Oh true. Peace. I won't forget what you did. And I'll Mimic, I told you! you. Circa, that's me right now. You don't know the kind of enemy he's made to me. Oh, I'm sure I do. It I'm sure I've met her. Like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. We haven't done anything this time. <laughs> I could be innocent and harmless, if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. I mean, you had a window in there. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. Wait, why don't we just leave the cabin? You jolt awake in the middle of the night oh. to silence in the cabin. 
the ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar, its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Ah, uh, she's Lying looking a little the creepy. The situation doesn't change them. Why is she like, like flickery now? So helpless. Oh, this is the flickering. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. Oh, I don't know. Is she stepping? The time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe. Ooh. You can't take Ooh. my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Oh. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here. We could have done such wonderful things together. Sorry, bestie. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? Is it really, though? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I mean, it might be. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, chapter two. <laughs> Naturally an end. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path, you're here to sleep. Getting a sense of deja vu. She's going to kill me again. again. People don't die twice. You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Taggy brain large, true. Yeah, Mimic, that depends on our perception. Never seen Mimic so OP. Shh. What if he hears us? Oh, paranoid, it's me. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> it's me. Oh my God, it's me. I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Let's assume I'm telling the truth. Okay, now proceed to the cabin. A warning. Before she... It doesn't matter. Don't, Don't trust, trust anyone. anyone. Proceed into the cabin. So she's like evil. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. Look at together. the spirits in the, the windows! Has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. That's fair. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. He didn't say anything. This whole cabin is different than I remember. Very different. I'm not the only one who sees her in the window, right? She knows that we're here. I'm Calm sure. down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died. And you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to take the blade because last time she was already angry. And like I feel like not taking the blade wasn't a good idea. So I'm going to take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. I mean... Is it going to be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something... A bomb? I don't know. 
better than a knife? A bomb? Could we have a bomb? Time for more soul guiding. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Okay. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Okay. Alright, let's enter the basement and see what she's looking like today. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps. Oh, that's not what I expected. In darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static. As if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. I mean, she might like it. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and oh, I. Oh, she's already, she's very demonic. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. No matter what voice, they all just disagree with the narrator. How hard is it to throw a knife? <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just gonna kill her. My narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't think... No, why we're all being such pessimists right now. Um... Let's just continue and not say anything, you know? Step off into the void between the stairs. <laughs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. That's kind of funny. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, Ooh. they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? <laughs> no, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. <laughs> I'm going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Please stop saying that. Left? We want to go left? We're to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. True. Go back the way you came. Let's go left. Because left is left. always right, right? You turn to the left. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Ew. No. Nah. No. What you. is that? As the princess approaches, oh. your legs suddenly go numb. Oh, wait. She's kind of cute here. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought a little Oh, she's scary. You. Cute. There has to be a way out she's of scary. this. She's scary. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I mean, yeah. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. This is your favorite? I mean, she's like serving something, you know? Yeah, she's like a marionette. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. She's Tim Burton coded again. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Yo, why my sleep paralysis demon is so attractive? Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. That bad? I think it would have been bad either way. Thal's absolutely worst. I'm working. Do you want this body to function? Or do you want to... Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it. You sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? <laughs> you have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart, lungs, liver. Damn, he's like lungs. focusing on all of them so that we live still? Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Liver. Oh well, Heart. standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Heart. 
She isn't attacking us. Oh, maybe wide. she can. The why doesn't matter. Heart. She's already proven Heart. her ill intent. Liver. Don't lose sight Liver. of your mission. Heart. Your weapon is Blood. still in your hands. Liver. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. She doesn't look like she's human anymore. Why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic, you know that, right? If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies, we can work together. I'm not doing any of this. Let's get out of here together. Leave together too, oh. What? Why won't you finish me off? I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. Okay, Meanie. Princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. I mean, she's kind of pretty. She has a mask on, though. Oh, did someone say that? <laughs> I just I just noticed that this is a crack. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. These are weird-ass powers now. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're back. I'm back. One moment, and then you're gone. Just like that. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that wouldn't be very fun. Oh, she's creepy. I've already done that. Okay, we'll save. What happened after you killed me last I time? I tried to leave all you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me, and then... Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. I don't think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Okay. If you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you just try being nice to me? I was sent here to stop you. If I let you out, what then? You're a lunatic. Okay, let's do this. I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? And you might have fair as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. <laughs> Um, if you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down? I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Damn. Damn, what do we do here? We can slay her. Uh, slay the princess. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. We, we did it. We yeah, but sh like, come on. <laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I could be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Could have had Harley Quinn waifu. Can she? Nerves, heart. We've already seen how she can change. Heart, lungs. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She falls to the ground, unmoving. Oh, I, I can stop now, can't I? I got an achievement that says we're stuck. I can. Oh, finally. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. She was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. Oh, no. It means that you're stuck here. Forever. No! Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, that would have been the same outcome either way, huh? this. Time passes. Forever's gonna end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. I feel sick. <laughs> it doesn't have to be forever, though, does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. What's in our hands? Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess that hasn't stopped us before. Oof. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. Oh, Paranoid is kind of being cheeky. You're right. I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter Ooh, if Oh, he's die? asking the questions. Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. Hmm. Doesn't matter if I die, I'll come back again. I've got the best company I could ask for. Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die? Are you stuck here with us or are you capable of going to other places? Ooh. I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. Feelings mutual. At least we're all being honest. <laughs> it's not like it matters if I die, I'll just come back again. Again? That's... That's unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. Ooh. You knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Of course I did. Though I'd rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Ooh. Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. And mine. She's dead and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? It just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Can you tell me your secrets now? <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna take... I mean, I can wait. More time passes. You're still here. Fair enough, we're gonna die. <laughs> you remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? We're gonna... Slay ourselves. Throw the blade into the void. Oh no, what are you doing? You tighten your grip and fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. <laughs> now you're really stuck here. Wait, forever. really? Oh, wait, really? No. Still no. I'm gonna wear you down eventually. You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets now. Then we'll have something else to talk about. You're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing his secrets. <laughs> I can feel it. I'm not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. Secret? The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. I can. I've got the best company I could ask for. Oh, you could do a lot better than us. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. Wait, am I, am I like, bone now because I threw the knife? That's a grim thought, isn't it? But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. You really shouldn't have gotten rid of the blade. <laughs> it was our way out. Oh, my bad. What? Now, now, if we're going to be stuck here until we starve, we really shouldn't be at each other's throats. I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be lonely. How sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Oh, sure you are. Give it some time without us and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. <gasps> Suda! Hi, Suda! <laughs> How are you doing today? Ignore the dead body. How are you doing? Secret? The narrator continues to ignore you. Ah, uh, wait. You wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger, 
The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time, but that doesn't stop it from passing, nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. The only things you know for certain are that it's long, and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. You got stabbed in your toe three times today? I hope you're okay! How's the game? There's a lot going on with this one. We really shouldn't have tossed the blade. Oh, we died. We died naturally. We didn't kill ourselves this time. No. You really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces. And eventually, long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark. And you die. I mean, this confirms that the princess isn't really, like, biology. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. Ooh. I have a game wreck for you, but I'll tell you about it later. Oh, okay! Sounds good. Oh, this is the only the second time we've gotten to the third chapter. You're on a path in the wood. Yes, so it... What? You're on a path in the woods. Shit, this really doesn't end, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her. It doesn't matter if she kills us. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Yes, so it does. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. Just a minor surgery for the fifth time. Nothing crazy. No, I hope it gets better. Oh my goodness. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? Okay. This possibility. So, you've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all about her and all about the threat she poses to the world. Is she gonna be a spider now? Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again and again. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading, and the world has already started to end. Let's see the spider version! Her influence? I really should have said that. Ooh. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us, and do your job, alright? Yes, sir. Are you the same narrator we met on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. We've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. There's something else we haven't tried? Then she finds a way out on her own. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Into the Spider-Verse. Only we don't have to see her. That's got to be better. Right? True. No, it's strictly worse. And oh. why is that? Because it's cowardly, for starters. And because the unknown is always worse than the known. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her. And whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed Ooh. to do it wrong. Now let's just go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Suspiciously quick. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. I asked if he's the same narrator. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything. In effect, making them all separate. This brain, my game, this game is so, hurting my brain. Yes, I'm the same me, 
but ever since I the trust the narrator with my life. We have never left. Acer actually left the first time, but then he just makes you go back. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way Ooh, she can Oh, do we kill the narrator? They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. Okay, let's just go to the cabin. Let's continue see. Continue down the path towards the cabin. Let's see what spider action she has going on. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. <laughs> the narrator and me are besties. You can't kill them. They're sus, Suda. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some I'm awful calling sus. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Can't wait for the new form. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I can. Ooh. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. We're you're sus and you, we let you live. Oh, true. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let's just enter the cabin. The interior of the cabin is long and dark. A single narrow hallway stretching Ooh, far into the there's distance. There's no blade this time. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. Susta and Susco. <laughs> the only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. Can we drink some water? There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? That's what I'm saying. What do you mean there isn't a mirror? There's a mirror, plain as day at the end of the hall. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's pretend there's a mirror at the end of this hallway and that right now we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? I'll just approach the mirror. You slowly make your way towards the gaping maw that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling Ooh. that you're being watched. You still good, Kiko? We're going for a bit longer than usual. I'm like definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely tired, but I do want to see what happens once we get the fifth, the fifth girl. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. Punch it. I presume in front of punch whatever it. mirror isn't actually there. Aw, we can't punch this it. The mirror's going to go away. Let's she make sure shot the last one, okay. We better brace ourselves. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. You gotta go for another three? I just got here. Oh, true. Oh, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. Hopelessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Oh, no. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it. She. The princess. Oh, she's gonna be a constructs. spider! Cliff after, after cliffhanger, after cl cliffhanger. What did I say the first time? Cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger. We're addicted. Gotta restart. Your bones snap. Icy pain radiates up from the break. A deep cold flooding your veins as your Wait, legs we're not gonna die yet, the right? Shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. No. You're met ew, with a ew, 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 Wait, feet reveal, feet her reveal. Hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. Wait, we get her feet reveal. Ew. You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom, but then you took my body away from me. So oh, her mouth! Bad cat feet! And you? You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. 
Just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. <laughs> she clearly hates us. And what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out, and it's different. We might as well take it. Ah, I don't know if it's a good idea. Yeah, but not like this. She's going to make it hurt. Then turn off the part of you that feels things. Oh, like it's that easy? It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. Except that pain hurts. Yes, that's what it does. That's the <laughs> definition. Nah, and we're like a cool crow monster and we can't do shit. Do we need to explain to you why pain is bad? You need to explain to yourself why it isn't. Oh. Look, we're even now. You killed me and then I killed you. Water under the bridge, right? I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know why I, how I got here. I'm a victim in all of this too, you know? What in possessing me against my will make you no better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do this. Do you need to take my body? Can I just open the door for you? That's kind of funny. You locked me in a basement and then you killed me. Oh, we're past the point of compromise. <laughs> I'm taking your body and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Voice of the Cold makes some points though. I'm glad she's willing to patiently wait for your inner voices to finish arguing. That's true. <laughs> Uh, I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. Oh, you did hurt me twice even, and I'm not letting you do it again. Okay, fair enough. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway Ew. as the rest of the princess's Ew. body emerges. Her proportions. Oh my gosh, she's a long elf. Limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Ah! Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Uh, Are you sure you she's can't gonna take to our baguette! I mean, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head. And crush you along with her. Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. For free? Unrealistic beauty standards for women? I'm gonna say something controversial, Wood! South Brain! Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. No! Bring the hands! Okay, deep breath. Bring the this hands! Is fine. This is fine. It's about to get this cold in here, y'all. Is it? Is there any conceivable way that this. Wood? Is fine? Same, Asura. Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. It's gonna get cold. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. True. Your vision oh. fades as she tears open the oh. membrane of your soul. That's not good. Oh. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Let's let just see. Her voice is all encompassing. <laughs> you feel wrong. Oh my god, my grandma when I had to get up for school. I'm kidding. So I love her. I love my grandma so much. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Ugh. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning Ugh. into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around like this. I didn't lock you, it's not my fault. Oh wait, I did lock her. Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> We're not gonna let you out of here. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. Were we? I was. And what reasons are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, she's different from last time. We weren't always like this. We are. Wait, what did he say? I've always been like this. <laughs> we don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it and throw us all into the basement. He's been storing it's will. Giving her what she wants. Now. Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. <laughs> He's been saving Will like it's the last cookie. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm not digging the pain. Throw your body into the abyss. In a single moment of overwhelming will, oh, I should have saved. You tear your body I should have saved and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have oh. to cover is far shorter. We're putting in everything we have. You're not. You're thinking too much about how she's hurting us. You're thinking too much Dang. about your body. It's just a body. Yeah, this is the opposite of when she was a ghost. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the next one we all go. One, two, three. Go! Ow! You throw everything you have against her and manage for one brief moment to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches and you collapse forward, the darkness swallowing you whole. I mean, you're not really nice. Her thought slips through you, unheeded as you fall. Oh, that's not good. You never want to hear laughter. <laughs> we did it. Check the auto saves. Yeah, okay, we'll it. see how this one pans out. Yes, we've really shown them all, haven't we? I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but at least you didn't prove it yet. What happens now? But I want to know what he thinks happens now. Why? What do you know that you're not telling us? Oh, he's gone! True? <gasps> Ew! Ew, wait, 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 wait! Terminal velocity ceases and you feel a something, a mass, a growth torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. What? What is happening? She's getting cold. Bye, queen. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> Hi, Oxy. How are you doing today? But you don't answer her before she's gone, and you feel a resistance underneath your feet once more. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? There's... We will approach the mirror. Let's see what we look like. You approach the mirror. Oh no, we're nothing! Oh! <gasps> I'm a crow! But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You ref you refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. <gasps> oh, I just got goosebumps on my entire body. What? A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image and glass into two. Why is- what? A 
Another crack forms and another and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. What? And then another crack forms. Oh, I read, I read that. You're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you and are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Are you a part of me or are you something else? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same all along? I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? What is this place? Where are we? What? Okay, 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 okay. Um... Uh, you're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering. What is happening? Trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind. She must be destroyed. Wait, I have, I forgot to save. Okay, we'll try now. Okay. And despite how far you've fallen, you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. What? <gasps> oh, fuck. I was made to do this single task. Who made me? What am I? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. I'm the long quiet? I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. A god, I always knew I was special. You're the narrator. I was wondering if I ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? Oh, I'm nothing like you. Yeah, that is loud. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. That was still quite loud. What is the one that's controlling the sound? Um. Others like you. You've said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. Oh. God must be all baguettes. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. Oh. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Huh. Okay, that was a lot softer there. Do you have anything to say for yourself? After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? I don't want to be a god. Uh, I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away? You said she contains death. What is she? You do know about the looping. So many of times I met you, you denied it as even a possibility. Why did you lie? Any other version of me you talked to was just that. A version of me. It wasn't me. As to why they lied, perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. True. And for all I know, each of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are wrong, really? Except for me. I can tell you for a fact that I'm right. <laughs> True. Should I push him to the edge or should I just stop asking questions? Oh, I have to destroy him anyway. I'm pretty sure death is good, actually important even. Why would you want to rid the world of death? The people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what the, you want me to do to them? 
What is the pre princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. We need answers. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. Interesting. Seems that every me you met did a real shit job of it, though. <laughs> If you made us, then I want you to know that this has been torture. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? If you just want me to destroy the concept of transformation, how is that existence any better than death or even different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. True, Taggy! Do you have anything to say for yourself after everything you've done? Do you think, know that things won't be worse if I destroy her? What would it be like to live in a world without her? Light. Burdenless. An eternal pattern of forgetfulness leading into the joys of rediscovery. Everyone will be with the ones they love. No more fear. No more howling chaos. Just life. Forever. Oh. There's a cruel irony to it all. The only way I could share my dream with the world was to never be able to see it for myself. No! If you made us, then I want... Okay, if I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth I'm gonna it. be alone? If you want me to destroy this concept of transformation, how is that existence any better than death? When I broke the cycle, I made sure that the tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carries a part of what should be you. Things won't be as they are now, but they won't be nothing, either. Besides... Anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to leave. Oh no, he's almost all, only a face. You're delusional. Uh. Uh. Every time peace breaks, are you part of me or are you something else? Why couldn't you have told me all this from the start? I would have helped you destroy her. If she's capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be, can I just will her into something small? If you actually knew what she was from the start, if you knew her capabilities, a single intrusive thought could have instantly ended the entire world. Fair enough. Oh, I ran out of questions. I think you're out of time. I'm not going to slay her, and I want you to know that before you die for good... Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her or lie about it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all of this. Oh, what? I'm saving. Ah, yeah, definitely slay or saving. I think you're out of time. I'm not going to slay her. I don't think she needs to be slain, but also I could lie, but that's kind of li that that's that's a lie. And not do the title of the game. <laughs> oh true. Saving the princess route. I don't know. Can you fix her? Can we? I haven't decided what to do. I've said my piece and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. You can and fix echoes her. Always fade away. Marry her. You know what you have to do. Is that a is that a title callback? Like we know we have to do it because it's called Slay the Princess? As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and what what a nascent god? And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Oh, nascent. Nascent. Only Kikar can fix her. Whoa!
I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. Oh, young. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Would, maybe? I've missed you too? Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Do you know about the echo? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his conscience. That ain't a dress. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. <laughs> would. would worship, oh true. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Wait, if I if I said I missed her, is that my romance? Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature. Isn't it? Romance, let's go. She has enough hands for everyone. Timothy, hi. Yeah, we are still going. When the echo spun us from one into two. Hope you're having a good one, Timothy. I gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. She's perfect. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or... Will you open the final doors to our liberation? Oh, okay, wait, I'm saving. I don't know if it matters, but I'm saving. Ooh, can't think of something in Mahito. Shifting Mound is a terrible name. It's giving, like, Pokemon. It's giving... It's giving... It's giving... Fluttermane. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Fluttermane's actually pretty good. Marissa Death Goddess Simulator. There's so, so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all of this? Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and I need more before I can make a choice. I've let you out. An entire world ends for good. I can't do that. Wait, why does it end again? If you're always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to g leave and where to go. What Pokemon have you play been playing? No, like, there's like new Pokemon, right? And their names are literally like Iron Treads and like... Iron Jugulus, Iron Valiant. Fluttermane is one of them. <laughs> Roaring Moon? Those are all Pokemon. <laughs> it's giving that. She's death. All As long as she exists, all things will end. You know, I think there's necessity to that. Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't... The winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Ooh, uh, I have questions. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, What is she doing? Then so be it. Oh no, hell no, no, you don't have to apologize. It's just like, those names are so silly. Maybe they sound better in Japanese, Cheru. Yeah, but hell no worries. It does get weird. It got weird in Scarlet and Violet. Choose agency. 
say with certainty what shape a world without you will take. I don't want that world to come to pass. You didn't give me a choice. I won't engage with violence. Remain silent. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm reliving my failures. Remain silent. But you say nothing. Oh no. A shiver passes through you as unseen fingers, cold as the grave, dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them. And yet, they do not return it. I offer you a path to your redemption. And you take my hand in yours. You felt the pain you caused another. And you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. But without redemption, there can be no sin. I would sacrifice everything to free you again. I won't engage with violence. I get it. Ooh. And without contrast, there can be nothing at all. Oh my god, my favorite! Your lover tried to stake into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Love She's my favorite. <laughs> and you pulled back layer after layer after layer. Until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. You sought the truth then. Will you hide from it now that it is within your grasp? I have no desire to hide, but the truth can be made better if destroying you is what that takes, and so be it. I don't want to hide from the truth. Okay, we'll do this one. I am so deeply woven into the threads of this reality that I cannot imagine it without me. Perhaps there is a better world to build. But you cannot know until you see it. Are you so sure in your blind optimism that you would shatter all of creation? I don't even remember what's happening. Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. My queen! When it is all gone, do you still have who you started with? A person is There she is! Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that fear it. Oh, look, she's just chilling. I'm not my body, but I feel my body suffer. I am not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. I don't fear death, not anymore. But what am I if I'm not a body? I won't engage with violence? Person is not a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that fear it. Person is not a body. Death is a transformation. I'm not a body, but I feel my body suffer? Do you suffer now? Let go of what you think yourself to be and exist. To question everything is to deny proof of the reality that lies in front of you. To live alone within the caverns of your mind is to trap yourself in them forever. But you did not live alone. Oh, the head. You found me, and we held trust in each other for no reason than to believe in something that wasn't us. Cold skepticism turned to liberation, but it required a journey to blossom. Though you have blossomed, do Look you have head. more journeys left to make? What of those in the spaces beyond? Would you erase the path ahead to hold everyone still? Wait, I'm kind of like, it kind of makes sense to not kill her. The path is just a metaphor. I want to protect them. I don't want to keep anyone still. What does the path matter if it always ends? I won't engage with this. The path only ends when it becomes a new beginning. To see those seams as finality is to pass over them with closed eyes. Pay attention, Kiko gonna quiz us. I'm, <laughs> I would never. As the clash between you ab abates, the princess relaxes, smiling from a distance. The respite is welcome? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. He quiz. There is no constant. There is no center. 
Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. This is fair. I think I'm gonna save on that. Cheers to that. It's easy to believe in the things you believe when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? Let's do that. This universe dies and a new one is born. And that one dies and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all. Weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. Oh, there's so many options. Okay, wait. It's easy to believe in things. Okay, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? I can't let that happen. I can't let everything die. I was told there was enough of you in me to prefer preserve meaning and existence. I'm gonna trust that's true. I have to fight for a better world. I'm so sorry. Your cruelty itself and I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you set you free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. <gasps> yeah, a lot of these words are going over my head as well. Let's try, there's another option. There is no something else. This, what we are, is everything. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do <gasps> it alone. What? Huh? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. You have no idea how good it is to hear you. It's good to be here. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. What? I got goosebumps. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Uh, okay, wait. Save, 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 save. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Then let's go. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't Aww. it? Oh, look out outside! There's all the bodies! Do you need me to describe things? I like that. For old time's sake, it's just you and me. Did anyone else make it to the cabin? Is the narrator really gone? Is it really just you and me? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of her. Okay, wait, I'm gonna save again. We're saving once more. Do we take the blade now? Oh, nar. Okay. We're gonna take a vote. We're polling it up. All right, guys. <laughs> Do we take this blade? I'm gonna ask, is the narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got no. obliterated. I thought she was really nice when you killed her right away. <sighs> ah, good riddance. I don't actually know how to feel about him being gone. It's funny, after everything he put us through, I'm kind of sad to see him go. Oh, more people are saying do not take the blade. Okay, guys, 64%. I think this is your choice. I take the blade. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll go. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. It depends, like she could be really nice. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? First time we heard her voice. See, the thing is, I want to slay her and save her at the same time. But then that's what caused all these problems. <laughs> Have you figured out what you want to do yet? Or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? <gasps> it sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. 
only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. I guess I'm too bloodthirsty. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? Sit with her, I guess. Oh, she's looking kind of nice. I don't want to be a god. Are you the same as you are out there? What if we just leave? I think the only thing left for us to do is leave. I don't want to be a god. Honestly, me neither. Oh, true. Are you the same as you are out there? No. I feel like I'm myself again. What if we just leave? Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? She sounds like she's flirting. Take her hand. I don't know, but I've always wanted to leave with you. I just didn't, I didn't like being a god. I want to walk through that cabin door just as you, we are just you and me. Not knowing what it, it means is why I want it. We knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want to know this. It doesn't matter what happens or what it means. What matters is that we're leaving together. That's all I want. How are we raising her up? Take her hand. We're taking her hand. <gasps> She's blushing. Okay, then. <gasps> She's Let's blushing. Leave. I think I'm going to stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Are you going to be okay alone? Thanks for everything. Are you sure you don't want to come? Thanks for everything, Don't honestly. Thanks for making all the hard choices along the way. Leave with the princess! Hands clasped together, you and the princess leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there is an energy in the silence, an electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You feel her hand tremble in yours. She's unsure of herself for the first time in her long and short existence. She has no part to play anymore, and she knows this, yet she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door outside, pulling you excitedly with her. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. You're a legend if you'd be raised a god. We married go now. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Princess. <laughs> and if it's bad, then it won't be bad. Not with you. <gasps> she loves me. Why? Why do we suddenly love each other? <gasps> Who's going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what's going to be like that. I love you. I love you too. Why do you suddenly love me? Why does she sud Why does she love me? You're lying. Take it back. But I'm trying not to be sappy about it. Don't make me get all emotional. Why do you love me? List out a reason of why you love me. <laughs> oh my god. I just got an unlock. So what happens next? I don't know, but you'll face it together. Share trauma. She's adorable. She's going to eat our bones. <laughs> Dripping with Riz. What? So she just loves me. I don't believe her. She just loves me by the end of it? Okay, wait, I'll end the poll. Special thanks to Gap Smolders! Let's freaking go! Thank you so much for playing. As an expression of our gratitude, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. Oh, interesting. Oh, cool! 
Return to main menu, I guess. You beat the whole game already? Karma! <laughs> we got one of the endings, yes. 8 out of 10. I see, I see. Oh, they had an ocelot. I missed it. Yo, that's cool. It was cool. You two went through hell and back. The will, any will you guys had used up during the cycles. Best ending 10 out of 10. Now that you're done with that, I'll pass out. <laughs> All right, good night, Goop Master. There is no other ending. Okay, I'm gonna look this up actually. Oh, this is the canon ending? Oh, that's really nice. Congrats on finishing. This is my favorite ending personally. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a, D, D Jax? Hi! Yeah, this was a good ending. Oh, I'm glad I got people's favorite ending then. This is the soul. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. How many... Oh, wait. Slay the princess. <gasps> we didn't have to do that. Ma'am, we didn't have to do that. Why did you do that? Why? Slay the princess... Endings? All, how many endings? How many endings? Slay the princess. Uh, how many endings? Oh, it says there are technically only two final endings. Oh, so the other ending is just killing her. Wait, is the only other true ending killing her? It is our canon ending, true! It's kind of unusual how she just loves us after she turned all Lich Queen on us. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, she suddenly just loves us. It was a love story. There's like three broad endings, and each has like two or three sub-endings. <laughs> we just married her and she immediately gave us the ick. Oh, if I recall. You could also just accept godhood. If you go into the second ending, I will eat you. <laughs> All right, guys, we will leave this as the canon ending for now. Um, I'm kind of curious about what happens. Like, no, do the other endings. I will stop taggy. I'm pretty tired for today. So I think we can do either another stream or I'll do a video on the other endings. Maybe a stream, because it has been fun to stream it. But yeah, we're going to leave it at this today to fe to reach a happy medium for Taggy. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do inscription today. I'm still defeated from, from Monday's stream. <laughs> I'm very tired. It's been five hours, so I'm going to I'm going to take my leave now. Actually, I can make myself bigger. Uh, hold on. Can I make myself bigger? Oh, yeah. All right. We will continue with this as in some caliber. The inscription trauma. It wasn't really trauma, but I... I uh, it defeated me last time. Yeah, she is a world-ending entity after all. <laughs> Five hours is a long time. Yeah, it's one of my longer streams from, from recent time. Or it is the longest stream, I guess. Kiko Marathon. 4.20 AM. Okay, we're ending. Taggy needs to go to bed. <laughs> Broke her down. Thanks for stream, Kiko. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, depending on where you live. And I want to thank everyone here in chat, as well as anyone here who are not chatting. I appreciate everyone. And I appreciate anyone who finds this vlog. Vod? Vlog? Vod. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Okay, bye, Arden. Bye, Taggy. Bye, Acer. Bye, Circu. Bye, Southbrain. Bye, Hell. Bye, Mogeko. Ah, did I say Southbrain already? I think I did. Bye, Arden. I said that already, didn't I? Suda. Bye, Suda. Oh, I'm making me so bigger. Bye, March Around. <laughs> Uh, bye, Goop Master. Thank you guys so much for coming. Bye, DJX. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Okay, I'm gonna head out. I hope I didn't miss anyone. If I missed you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everyone go to bed.
or else. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head out. Bye bye. Well, actually, I'm gonna say that I appreciate. Honestly, I appreciate this game dev, or I guess these game devs, because they clearly put a lot of love into this game. So I appreciate it. I had a great time. The game's fantastic. Like, absolutely phenomenal, honestly. Like, all of the art that they did for it, crazy. It's not bedtime for me, true. Acer still got a day ahead of him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm grateful for these devs. And also, make sure to tell someone that you love that you love them today. Or in fact, tell everyone that you love that you love them today. For me. Wait, you can kiss the princess? Hold up. We can kiss her? Hold up! <laughs> We gotta kiss the princess. <laughs> yeah, everyone have a good one though. I'm gonna head out. I have a tummy ache, lol. <laughs> okay, bye bye. I'll see you guys on Friday for Ace. I was about to say Ace Attorney. I'll see you guys on Friday for Animal Crossing. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Immediately another time. <laughs> bye bye.